Dude, I can't switch. <laughs> it's just not. It's jammed. I can't fucking switch, bro. <laughs> Don't be saying that out there, man. Get involved. You got one cheek it. Oh shit! Oh, oh that was graceful. Oh, that was impact. Oh, that was terrifying. Oh, shit. The Welcome to the oh, yard. You're in the line of fire. I saw uh, with an Estes in hand as well. I don't really know what episode we're in. You're gonna make sure that mic is pointed towards your mouth here. We should have this first. Estes because Josh, man. Uh, uh, yeah. Can we start by saying how much we hate Josh, man? Yes, sir. Okay. Keep it. You hate Josh, man? Don't you? What has he done to you, dude? He sent me a picture of Pipsqueak. <laughs> with a fade. Yeah. Yeah. You know the picture? <laughs> yeah, I know this one. Okay, I have not seen this. Why did he send you that? Cause he asked me to play, and I was like, "You got, you got to beat Svob if you want to play me." Wow. <laughs> oh, can't, cause you can't come wow. at the champ like that. Dude, that means Mewtwo King can't play you either. Damn. I'm all for a Mewtwo King burn too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This King is straight. a two for one deal for Mango. No, he lost cause like What's someone here. You good? Nobody I'm gave good. him a headset that weekend. Dude, can he's you struggling, bro. It? He's struggling. Fixing the goat's mic. This is as good as it gets. Cause it only. No, but you, that, you that actually just you know, just pull it forward. Some, that some, some, some mics yeah. go straight up, some mics go straight out, and I'll all of them, yeah, some of them all curve of them are beautiful. Some of them curve a bit. You know what I'm saying? And that's okay. Hey, welcome back to the yard, everybody. It's episode 83. We're joined no. here by the GOAT. 84. <laughs> the GOAT number. It's going to be in the 80s, finally. Uh, what, in the 80s. You know what I realized? We have, if we're going by the rule that we set in the last Mango episode... We not only have this episode, but we have two more yeah, exactly. we owe you we owe you episodes. A total of three, and we're I'm doing one now. I'm not counting Low Trash City. Why? Whoa. I'm not counting it. They change your name too much. It pisses also, me off. Also, it was a panda tournament. Oh, that one goes away for that. So, so I'm in a weird spot with that. Panda? You're Team Panda? Well, I was Team Panda. That'd be oh funny. Oh, my God. <laughs> but That's so you. It's just way better to be... Rooting for the, the evil what? side. Yeah, the evil side's way funny. Maybe you know he was Team Nintendo, though. He was huh? Team South back in the 1850s. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so the, um, with the pandas, because they keep emailing me, because they need my bank account information so I can get paid for that tournament. Mm. But oh. I don't want to give them my bank info, so I might just I don't know wait, what to wait, do. Wait, 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 wait. Why would you not want to give me your bank Because you don't want trust paid. them with your bank panda. info? I just, well, okay, I don't know. Yeah, or you don't want the money. They might also go under, so you should give them the info. So How about you give them your info, and then you give me the money? I think that wouldn't work. Why? That seems no, inefficient. No, because we have to pay taxes. That's laundering. It's only like 2K. You can't pay the taxes for your boy? What? I think it's not you a lot of have money. to pay the taxes anyway, because then he pays you. Double jeopardy. And then you have to pay tax no, on no, that. No, no, we offload it, we expense it, and we, we reduce the burden to Mango. That's actually, this is fine. It's just, you don't want it to don't go straight to Don't point to him, account. Mango, because this is bad for you. You're no, paying the taxes. It's the same. It's, this is it, the it's same just an thing. extra step. No, 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 this is the same thing that you do when you ask me or Aiden to buy you a Nintendo game. So you don't have to pay Nintendo the money. Yeah. yeah. But it's the same thing. No, it's not. It is. How is it the is. same thing? Because he's paying Nintendo and you're paying him. Yeah, but he can do anything he wants with my money. Right, but like, <laughs> but like you know but he's what he's doing. doing it for you. You're asking him to do it. Yeah, but it's his money. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. it's, like, yeah, it's, like, it's, it's, like, it's like buying meth on the street, but you're like having Aiden do it, and you're paying Aiden. Yeah. I guess actually, you know, it's kind of smart. Yeah, right? Yes, trouble. he, he takes no, it no, it's Holy like It's shit. like having Aiden buy the beer for you, but you're the one drinking it. You're still getting the calories. No, you, it's not. It's not. You're still. No, no, yeah, no. But he, he's he, the one who. The damage uh, is uh, being done to you. Why he's am I the offloading mule? the ethical burden. Yes. As well as any sort of extra work. That he would have to do by typing right. something when in. When I was uh, 18 in college, we wanted to drink Ooh. beer. So we went to a Circle K down the street uh, in Phoenix, Arizona. And, uh, and it was me and my two buddies. And we had like 20 bucks, uh, I think, between the three of us. Jesus Christ. We were broke. And so we, <laughs> 20 between three boys? We're, <laughs> we're sitting across the Circle K at this bank. We're waiting for people to show up that we think look good. And we find this dude who pulls up in a truck and we walk up to him. And we're like... Hey, can you get us some beer? And he like looks at the three of us and he's like, what do you want? And we're like, whatever 20 gets us. And he's like, all right. And then we go back across the street to the bank and we sit there and we wait. He's in there for like 25 minutes. We're just <laughs> waiting. We're like, did he escape? And like, what was he going to do? Go through the bathroom? Eventually, we see him get out. We start to walk over. He gets in his truck and he drives away. Wow. And we were fucking oh, gutted. Yeah. Yeah. We There's were gutted. That's the toll. We had no beer and no money. What, what did he look like? 
Was he, he an older guy, younger guy? He he was like a, like a stocky forty five year old construction looking worker guy. Oh, he scammed you, and he and he saved you from a lifetime of addiction. Think about no. that. Wait, no, I still drink beer now. You know what I'm saying? No, you never I don't. had a drop no, since. I have had. And that's beautiful. He saved your life. I'm, he made you. He, he, he made you. No, none of no, this you is fell off. Did. That You're guy drinking made you beer super right smash. Now. Don't talk to it's the goat he, that way. Mango's guy said yes and got him the beer. The two times got me the beer. Okay, okay. You're a father. You're a father. If your kid says, Mango, can I drink a beer? What, at what age are you like, yes? Is it 21 hard? No, 17. 17? Get in the mic, get in the mic. 17. Yeah, I, I think 17 closer, is sorry. the best age to drink. And <laughs> <laughs> I'm not condoning. That is so know, much different. I, I'm not condoning. I let my kid what about into. it? Because I think 17, because like, I didn't drink. You know, f- while we're, you know, we're on the podcast, so I got stories. You know, I was the kid who never wanted to drink. Hey. And, I, and I told myself. When I was like 15, because like I grew up in Norwalk and everyone was fucking drinking at like 14, 15. And I was like, I just didn't want to do it because I thought, you know, I had morals, I guess. I don't know. Little Kid Mango. If you ever met Little Kid Mango, you would love him. (laughs) Fire and passionate. He was the most like, he lives inside me, but he gets older Mango just kind of bullies him. Mm -hmm. Dude, there's this, there's this old YouTube, but to cut you off really quick, there's an old YouTube account that I found that has all these super fucking old melee videos. Um, and there's one of you and you're getting your hair cut before a tournament and you're, you're fucking a kid. You're like, I think you're like 11 or 12 or something. Mm-hmm. And you're really young. I was like, this is so precious. Yeah, I don't think people realize I've been playing melee since I was 14. I just turned 31 two days ago. Like, That's actually crazy. And then I fucking announced my retirement. Everyone's like, no, I'm like, bro, you want me to play for 20 years? <laughs> when yeah. it's all said and done, I will drop a 20 burger in melee years. Yeah. Yeah, but how about like the- still got one up by Juan though, so he can't one up me. He, how, how about he go win a tournament? Then oh, he can one up me. Oh, oh, how about that? Hey. Hey. Twenty sixteen Juan's calling. All right, come on. He he was he was good back then. Twenty twenty three. Twenty twenty three chess boxing. Hey. Okay. Dude. You have to pay me fifty k. Uh, what? That's it? That's it? 50 oh, shit. One. No, don't say that's it. Oh, 50. We'll think about oh, it. Yeah. How about 40? I'll take 50. <laughs> I know you're paying uh, everyone else. Up. Zipper Q poll to tweet. Look at Juan de Biedma's Twitter.com. So, chess boxing event happened last night, of course. Uh, and well, there's a lot to talk about from that. But one of the interesting, uh, interesting things is that Man I saw a tweet stuff. right after it ended. From Hungry Box. Yeah, I thought it was funny you responded right after it ended. Like, yeah, right after it ended. That was the thing that got you to respond. I'm, well, I'm on social media and I'm soaking it in. I like, I just had finished. Beautiful moment. Yeah, beautiful moment. I'm looking at all the praise. <laughs> and then I saw this tweet and it says, let the record show. It was supposed to, it was, it was supposed to be me and Mango, but he pussied out uh, because he, if he lost, he said he couldn't live with it. And then Ludwig instead wanted me to fight the 6'4 beast of a man that is Josh Man. Josh is not then a beast. No beast out. of a man. 6'4 beast of a no man? Beast. Yeah, he's yeah. just tall. Uh, yeah. And then Still Josh big. broke his arm. Now we're here. Fuck. Okay, click that tweet and then scroll down to my reply. Uh, so what actually happened? Oh, sorry, oh, sorry. we have Ludwig blocked on Zipper's oh, okay. account. Okay, all right. Well, what actually happened? <laughs> and I, I'll just, Where is it? I don't, look, yeah. hey, Zipper's got me blocked. What actually <laughs> happened is that uh, Hungrybox was never supposed to fight Mango. He said, "I want to fight Mango," and then I said, "Mango, do you want to fight Hungrybox?" And he's like, "No." And then I was like, "All right, Mango doesn't want to do it. Uh, do you want to fight Josh, man?" He waited six weeks, kind of like saying, yeah, no, yeah, I'll do it. But like, can I get more money than other people? Yeah, you know. And then eventually on like the sixth and final week where I had to make a choice because the event was like literally six weeks away. I was like, what do you want to do? He's like, no, I'm not going to do it. I was like, what? <laughs> None of this is what your tweet said. That's crazy that he painted it that way. Yeah. That's yeah. just not what happened. Yeah. It was crazy. Hbox is a gaslighter. It's also funny because oh, you, you, like, <laughs> I'm going to say it. <laughs> Ludwig has the, the dick to go on Twitter because he rarely does it. He really like engage in like confrontational discourse. That's why I was shocked to see it. Yeah. It was wow. like, damn, was like, Ludwig's damn, like, no, why are you so mad? This isn't how it happened, actually. Well, well I, I added a nice thing at the end. It was a shit sandwich. Love your energy. Yeah. That, my yeah. last thing I said, I what love a, your energy. What a nothing <laughs> thing okay. to say. Yeah, <laughs> love your energy. Well, honestly, like, because well, he said he was down a box. What, sure. What if I just felt like I gained nothing from fighting Juan? You do. I'm, I'm hard expected to win, and just the image. I where, don't know if you are expected well, to win. By the way, I, yeah, I think him, you're expected to lose. I feel like you gotta be in shape. I I expect, <laughs> you're, talking, you're just talking about vibes. I, 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 look, look, can, uh, let me say this. I think that if it was wrestling, that I hard expect you to fucking win. No, I destroy Juan's. Never, <laughs> I've seen Juan throw a football. And I've seen him catch a football. <laughs> is that it? He's I mean, he's this is least, intel. At least athletic human I've ever seen in my life. I, he gets tired after 20 seconds. I would expect you to lose. Do you Why? think you have stamina? 
Because you drink and you don't have cardio. No, I have the greatest cardio. What? I, what are you talking I can't about? You right now. Hold on. No, 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 no. This body what? was supposed to go to the Olympics. Instead, I chose <laughs> to sit here and play. Well, if Juan Marquez yeah. could have been on the Olympic Gold, team. Yeah. Nobody ble- you know when I you know I was trained to be a fighter at one point in my life. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Golden <laughs> Glove. Yeah, tell me about this. Okay, this Golden is, Glove Marquez. This is not right now. I don't, I don't believe you, and I love you. Listen, okay. I don't. So after melee was like two thousand <laughs> something, <laughs> and melee. I had, so you know, in high school, I had like 10 grand from all my melee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And I just kind of coasted on that. Obviously, I didn't have bills. But eventually, I got down to like $200, and I was like, and I dropped out of college, and I was like, well, shit. I'm like, what do I do now? Because melee was like in a dark era, and I kind of didn't want to play. So I was like, what can I do that doesn't require school? And I was like, well, I really like fighting. <laughs> so I was like, I think I want to be an MMA fighter. So for like four, six months, I. Played uh I didn't play melee I didn't play anything I worked out I was running ten to twenty miles every day. No shot. No yeah. way. Ten, ten to twenty. Ten miles? to twenty yeah. a day. Do you know day. how long that is? No, yeah. no, no. I was a half day. marathon every day. Yeah, towards the end I was running about that. I didn't just start that way. I ran you know two, but, four, but five every day a half I marathon. To, I to, can you yeah. run, can you run a mile right now? I could have on pure hate. Uh, I'll throw him, I'll throw so you're the going from 10 to 20 <laughs> to 1 mile. through hatred. The no. most hate him every step. He's like, fuck, it's been a long time. Cody sucks. It's been a long time. Well, I would run like 5 to 10 to 15, depending on the day. Uh, and right, towards right. the end, I was I had a little four pack. I got There's one picture on the internet somewhere. I got to find it. Mango had a little four pack. I was fit. And then I was going to, I was about <laughs> to take boxing classes, but I wanted to get my stamina up because I figured, I, as you saw yesterday, everyone gets fucking tired. It's but all I, did, I didn't want to. I, I was like, I'm going to take classes, but I want to be like really. Have crazy stamina. And I was gonna do it. And that week, Armada fucking posted like, well, I guess I'm the best. Winky face, smiley face. And I was like, and I have not worked out since. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. I was like, no. Wow. Wait, 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 wait. So you never <laughs> boxed? No, I didn't get the chance. But, but he could have been. He could have been, 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 been a trained fighter. I know, but no, what he but said, I was getting my stamina. It was his <laughs> destiny to be a trained Dude, fighter. Dude, we're the same, actually. I was getting my stamina. This, <laughs> you said you were trained oh, to dude, fight what? Golden Glove Marquez. You were going to be one of the best. You just ran a lot. Yeah, because I was getting ready. Okay, and then our interrupted. He makes sense. This I understand. So I was getting yeah. ready so, to fight. So is your point that you'd be willing to train? What's your yeah, point? Yeah, I would train. Because my body's amazing. I believe that. My body is the be- you think your body's a temple? This, you know how bad I treat my body, and I'm just this kind yes. of chubby. You and are like slime because slime in the premium episode said within a year he could beat me in boxing if we both trained. Yes, yes, yes. And I think you think you would beat most people in a year if you trained. I beat anybody. Yeah, and me that's and the I think well, I'm just saying it's wrong. It, it takes. Why is it, it wrong? Why is it well, wrong? Is it wrong to be strong? Do you think it's wrong what slime thinks? No, I think that's the part of... I think if you're going to be a fighter, you got to be a fuck you kind of fighter. You can't just go around being a humble little fuck. <sighs> I think when it comes go. to fighting, you got to be, I will beat your ass. <laughs> you guys I know are hurt fighters, though. You're, you got the mentality before he's you got just, the body. He's just saying ex- all the things that are running through my head, except it's coming from someone who's accomplished. So listen up, Ludwig. <laughs> yeah, I'm inclined to believe that he ran 10 miles a day because he's number one in the world at something. Yes, I have... Drive and passion. Yes, sir. You're, You're not, not number one in the but, world. But, 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 oh, that's not true. He also Pick one he, thing. Fucking. There's also a timeline. There's <laughs> also a timeline where Mango just <laughs> oh, carried oh, yeah. Liquid to a blast final victory. Like there's there's also the Counter Strike Mango. Yeah, timeline. there's Counter Strike Mango. There's a lot of butterfly there's League of moments. Legends Mango. Yeah, there's a lot of butterfly moments in all of our bronze lives. four to gold in one month is impressive, and no one can tell me otherwise. Bronze four to gold in a month and a week. Listen, no, I, month. <laughs> I was saying, and I wanted to bring this up, Ludwig, and maybe fighting you, whatever. That's you, you, you would never do it. You're pussy. But I dead ass. I I was talking to Atrioc at the fuck at the function, calling him out. If we do this again, put me on the fucking no, stand. You backed out last time. I didn't back out. No, I literally he didn't had, back out. It was a I, medical thing. Yeah, it was a medical. I know. Thing. And is it gone? Yes. Yeah. I literally told you. I told you about my medical history. Also and you told didn't us listen. that. Also told yeah, us I that. I do remember that. That's actually, crazy. No, I'm I'm and just, I'm just liar. You're the liar here. And I went up to Atrioc and I said, "I would fuck. I want to fucking rip your head off." And he's like, "I would fucking kill you next year." It's already the animosity is already there. I think what Put happens. Put me in, coach. So the 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 chess boxing event was born for two reasons. One, I saw that video on YouTube like six years ago. And then two, I always thought it'd be fun to do smash boxing, which you tweeted about, Slime. Yeah. I think it was at Shine, where I was trying to pitch the idea to be on the summit in the snake known as Ken Chen. <laughs> yeah, Ken Chen said, we cannot have people hit each other. We will get sued. We can never do this. And I would every three months be like, 
hey, what about boxing, Ken? And he'd he'd pretend that he has to say the same thing to yeah, me. Yeah, I pitched them the uh, the obstacle course, and uh, I got in trouble for that. Yeah, and because, then they ended because, up doing it because two people got hurt. Cody oh. got a hernia from that, but it was cool. It was cool though. That's yeah. also basketball. I was I, I shot down basketball because I don't want to deal with fucking Cody. Sorry, he has to be the default complainer. He's a good default complainer. <laughs> Cody jamming his finger. I start right, I start basketball. right, go left versus Cody, and both of his ankles turn in half against each other. I, I can't. <laughs> He's looking like the John Lennon plug walk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he turns into Play-Doh in front of me. I can't handle the guilt, you know. So yeah, I'm saying right here, right now, Ludwig. Wait, if wait, this wait, happens wait, again, done, done. so that's where the idea spawned. That's where the idea here we spawned. Go, man. Is where I share my dreams again. I had that smash boxing idea. idea, and then and then I have now developed enough money. <laughs> that I can make it happen without oh, needing a production company to back it. It was so much money. I developed. It was a lot money. of money. How much money was it roughly? Thank you. I okay. Are we allowed to say? I talked to what Nick. Do you Wang. Mean, why are we not allowed to say? I said it on the broadcast. One point six million, I think. Yeah. And guess what? You can't pay me back. What? We're really close. We didn't hit it, but we were really close to being in the green. Wait, I was told yeah. we were. Uh no. Nick Wang messaged me last night yeah. undercover and he said, Okay, true final numbers. Not in the green, but super close, and I'm like, that's crazy. Yeah, that's I saw good. the number. I saw the revenue number, and I was like, damn, that is way higher than I thought. Yeah. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Almost making so money. So it's called Almost a loss. The secret. One dollar tickets. You know who I wanted to fight? Yeah. Who? Hassan. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I told you. I gained 200 yeah. pounds, whatever was needed. Yeah. Uh, 200 <laughs> pounds. <laughs> just I, I, I'm learning 200, 200 pounds in a I, foot of height. No. <laughs> well, it's just about weight, right? No. no. Yeah. Uh, reach so matters. much about reach. No, I, I know reach matters, but. He's six foot like six. And? You're five yeah, imagine eight. that image of Mango getting ready to go. <laughs> that David image go on it, was, it would look so like it would look like how Hugs actually looked at the fight. <laughs> Zipper, 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 can you bring up the you Hugs have image? To jump to hit his chin. I'll go for stomach shots. E, e tossed uh, tweeted it. E T O S S. Dude, I I also missed. Uh, what did Hugs just win in the first round? Is that what happened? We're not gonna talk about that. Just know that. Uh, yeah. Poor Tof got. He won. He won in the first. That wasn't fair. Boxing round. He got obliterated. Wait, wait. You were to finish your thought. So anyway, that's where the idea originally spawned, uh, and then we made it happen, and it cost a lot of money. And when I started making everything work and I started asking people to come do it, it was right after Creator Clash, right? So, like, we had the idea. <laughs> <laughs> so that's this so funny. This picture is so funny because the ref standing next to Hugo is, six is so tall. When Shorty don't let you hit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I reached out to everybody after Creator Clash and everybody was down. Yeah. Everybody was like, yes. Oh, let you're me saying fucking it won't be fight, it. bro. Yeah, because it's Let hype. me fucking get in that ring, bro. And then everybody flaked one month later because nobody actually wants to punch or get punched. I think, I think they'd like the idea of it. Dude, the amount of people who got it's concussions in an effort to either do the event or at the event made me so scared of it. I was, I should have not had that Korean barbecue. Yay. Ben Tumblestone. <laughs> ben Tumblestone. <laughs> Tumblestone boys. Yeah, Mango, Mango tells us he thinks Ben's <laughs> last name is Tumblestone. Uh, it's not. That was his. That was his colonial ancestor. And then we told him his real last name. He goes, "It's close." <laughs> it's, it was close. It's not. It's not. <laughs> it's just, uh, I don't. You guys view things very differently. Oh uh, yeah. yeah, I agree. I, I, what? Yeah. No, you guys, you guys, I agree. What? I have to be in your corner a lot for this episode because like, of I'm, all the things you've said. I'm about. telling him what two plus two is, and he's like, "We just see it differently." <laughs> yeah, we do. Like, we I don't really... think two plus two is four. I think it's a little more intricate than that. I think that so many things aren't black and white. Okay, can I show you a video? <laughs> this I, is, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, he's right. <sighs> You're, this is your guy. This is my guy. Okay. That's right. right. Ride or die. Uh, yes, wait, sir. Let me, wait, let me tell oh, you. Yeah, want to tell show me video? I want to show you the, well, you said you versus Son. Zipper, I sent you a video, and I think this is what I'm imagining you versus Son to be like. This is uh, Nicola, uh, Nicholas Pettis. This is uh, Chris Broad's coach for this event that we just did. Uh, he was a K1 professional fighter in Japan. You can go to like three minutes. But this is him versus like this super fucking huge Korean dude. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. Hey, you don't think that's badass? Well, okay, I will give it to you. Wait, is this kickboxing? It's kickboxing. I mean, they're yeah, yeah, kicking. Yeah. Yeah, it's <laughs> He's just like fucking Let's kicking. Go. Is this soccer? So oh, what? Technique wins. It's kickboxing. He broke it's his shin. It's this David versus Goliath and this this. This Korean guy's got to be like six foot eight, 270 pounds. I think Nick's like 5'10, 210. And, uh, and if it's above 200 pounds, the weights don't matter anymore. You can uh, skip forward like 30 seconds. Uh, and so he just keeps kicking this right leg. And you, there's a few shots we can see just like blistering and swelling. 
Yeah, I saw an MMA fight like this as well. You just keep going for the shin, and you can win on Bro, like even, okay, on back door shine. Oh, you can knee the face and kick. And so now wow. this is this is you know what? Why I believe in you, Mango? Yes, because I saw this video. Oh, oh my god, he got up there. Size doesn't matter. In this a guy fight. looks like a uh, terrible I'm fighter. Does. I'm with you. Oh, oh my god, he he reached. Check it out. Check it out right here. Oh Holy shit! Right here. Get your hands up. Nope. Nope. Oh my! This is like Dark Souls. He's literally like a, just a bigger guy. That. He fell so slowly. Yeah, he fell like you just fell the Dark Souls enemy. Oh my god. So that's you. That's you versus Son. Thank you. Okay. And Son's wearing like a bolo tie. That's uh, yeah. uh, Golden Glove Marquez. Wow. I would have fought. Well, if I fought, I would have fought in like the really like like a Speedo S thing. <laughs> what, like Borat? Kind of. No, I would have fought, <laughs> fought, fought like a USA Speedo. Okay. Abs chiseling. Oh no, just the go ahead. <laughs> did you like, like disguise toasts Captain America gloves? Those are cool. But I, I hate disguise toast. What, Why is that? What? Hate him? Because everyone that. loves him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dude, he's just like me. You're I'm the same as the goat. You have such hater energy. I'm from the hood. I'm. All what my, does that mean? All my ghetto people understand. We just are born to hate. On everyone who's doing better than us, which is everybody at all yeah, times. Yeah, it's what happens. That's when you why you hate Ludwig. Poor. That is why I despise Ludwig. No, uh, it makes all sense. Was, all makes sense. No, no I, I, I hated you because you had a good family unit and a strong emotional. Yeah, it's annoying. Is this it, right? Anyone it's fucking annoying. Don't say you're from the hood. Don't say you're from the hood. I'm fucking poor. So it's you true. get it. You know what I'm saying? It's the it. same shit almost. Not really. But <laughs> pulling your dad dying card. I'm he getting, died. I'm getting real sick he of this said card, I came from a good family. <laughs> get, you, your good. family was good. Your no. mom loves you so much. You're so dumb. Oh, she doesn't? She hates me. No, she doesn't. Yes. She hates uh, you, actually. I know. Anyway, continue. What were we talking about? Your story. Oh, Sky's Toast. I hate him. <laughs> no, no, no you're telling a story. I don't want you, but I think that everyone needs to be hated, which is why I get why people hate me. Like, I get it. You just want to hate me because everyone else loves me. Mango, whenever Mango, <laughs> and I respect that. Whenever Mango meets anyone, he puts them in the hated category for a un or undisclosed period of time until you escape the hated yeah, category. Yeah, it's quarantine. Well, because, yeah. like, I hated you. Yep. But then I was like, after so much hate, I'm like, he could take it. And then I was like, Nick's all right. <laughs> Did you hate me? I never hated you. Oh. He's I just don't give Mango him that. Fan, dude. Don't give him that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. How can it. you hate slime? So, so many people, so many so people many have an answer to that so question. Yeah, there's a lot of people so hate on the podcast. Can describe why. He just keeps it real. That's why. I respect no, that. He keeps it wrong. I haven't he keeps it wrong. He keeps it real. You can't keep say it, he I keeps it real. Switch, I haven't switched. I keep it real. Yeah, when, 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 Nick, when all of you switch, I will be the last <laughs> one standing among your switched corpses. Pieces of shit. That's you, the thing about Alex Jones is he keeps it real. No, you know what? You switch, bro. I, how? You want to know how you switch? Fucking playing group activities. He's like, how come we, I, I want to be invited to playing group activities now? Yeah, because I now. I like having Because he's a lonely bear now. <laughs> because I. He because switched. <gasps> Whoa. He switched on. You're Nick Yingling. I switch a little bit. <laughs> wow. That's, what I'm That's what I'm saying. You just got to know when. <laughs> Come right. to think of it, I did switch a little. Bit. <laughs> That's a, that lesson at the end of the movie. Um, no, but I dead ass. Uh, you're saying that people get really hyped on it after a boxing event. They drop out. Yeah. I was going to do it. I was going to fight abroad in Japan. I, I told Ludwig, you. I'm not hitting a girl, bro. But I was like, whatever you got to do. <laughs> and then. In the ring, we're all equal. And That's how I, I see it. And then I had. That a, is so good. <laughs> You like that one? Yeah. <laughs> and then I had heart problems. I had to get my heart checked out. Everything's fine, which I thought you'd be excited about in general for, as my friend. He doesn't care. Uh, doesn't care. And now I, I saw, and I saw Atriok. I'm like, I will fucking kill you. I will kill you with my hands. Atriok won't do it. He wouldn't even bungee jump. Yeah, but God, if he did, oh, I would fucking, I would, would you love bungee to, jump? to get in the ring with him. Sure. I would make him bungee jump. jump. No, I don't want to sky. That's way scarier than yeah. I think uh, boxing is way scarier than jumping out oh, of no, a plane. Oh, no, no, no. Jumping out of a plane. Oh, not for me. I don't want to jump out of a plane. I don't no, want to. No, I, 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 I would watch way, way before Bungee jumping is more dangerous than jumping out of a plane. But I wouldn't. I, I'm not talking about bungee jumping. I wouldn't bungee yeah. I'm saying boxing, boxing is more dangerous than all of these let things. Me, let me rank no, everything. Against amateurs? Uh, no, it's not. Scariest yeah, things. Absolutely. Scariest things. Uh, plane jumping out of, bungee jumping, boxing, a truck, and destroying his fucking life. It depends how you define danger. How many people have died boxing? I don't a, like statistics. A lot more than, than that's bun, a, a lot more than skydiving. Wait, is that certainly. true? Yeah. yeah, for sure. Died in like in the ring, not later from injury. Like what, in wait, the wait, ring. Why, why are you then, differentiating? No, why would there be a? Why would you differentiate? They still died from boxing. If you 
just because you know, made if, it to the hospital if you, if you and died there, you died earlier in life. What's well, the window? This is Disney. This <laughs> yeah. is Disney when they take yeah. out the bodies outside the park. Yeah, because they're like, they die in Disneyland. They drag them. They die in the park. They do a perfectly safe sport. They have like a timer as they rush them out on a... I want to see this dad. Tell me people died boxing. There's a shot clock on Disney campus. We looked it up when we jumped out of the plane. One in 500,000 people died tandem skydiving. It just is weird. I don't... It's weird. I think man wasn't meant to fly. All right, hey. This but is man what, was is, meant to fight. This is what I did with, with these two when we went skydiving. Slime, Nick, oh, guess the number that? between yeah. one and 500,000. Uh, 200,000 and four... 214,999. Oh my god, that was my number. Uh, <laughs> oh. uh, uh 1,000... Or on, 117,000. 117092. Seven. Three. Uh, four. <laughs> you guys are assholes. Can you guess a number between one and 500,000? I'm really top heavy here. Uh, 2,802. Oh, you all that's live. four. We all live. You die. You all live. Oh, it's not closest. It's not prices. No, right. no, no, no. It's just no. if your number matched. We were saying. Since 1890, more than 1,876 <laughs> fighters have died as a result of injuries. All right, the now ring. since 1890, how many skydivers have died? <laughs> Fatalities yes, by license. Fatalities by total jumps. That's nothing. It's really tiny. That's less. Oh. And this There's is millions of people jumping out of planes on this fucking planet. We need more Bro, engineers. I mean, when did Fortnite come out? That probably made the fucking That's number true. go way up. Inflated it huge. The, uh, why doesn't Jimmy do a fucking real life battle bus? He did. Well, he did real life. Uh, he did battle royale battle bus. But but you jump out of the battle bus and skydive. He made a battle bus and gave it to Tifu and got like twenty million views. No, they should jump out of it. Yeah, they that would be so high. You have to jump out of the battle bus. They yeah. should do that. You, you can call him. That. You should call him later. Hey, how was? Here's your idea when you met him in person. Eat a tire. So you lost your <laughs> chance, buddy. That's a good you idea. That's a good idea. I, he I should still, think still that. eat the tire. Yeah. That your, does, Until he eats the tire, he, you're my favorite. Here, here's my creator. question, Mango. If you could fight anyone in the Smash community and you got to choose, who would you fight? In boxing, not fight, fight, like boxing. Like in the ring? Like in the yeah, ring. Yeah, in the ring. Chess boxing, Smash boxing next uh, year. I guess just Zane. He's my, well, you'd kill Zane, so. I would destroy Zane. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he would. No. I think he kills Zane. I think Zane would train really hard. I think yeah. Zane could train yeah, as I've, hard I've, as he wanted I've to. I fought Zane, and I think, and I talked to Phil about this, and I, I'm going to either, <laughs> you either got that dog in you or you don't when it comes to fighting, and I think, as you saw last night, I'm not going to name names, some people got hit, and you can tell they just did not like being hit. <laughs> and I think yeah. you, that alone, like me, you could hit me right now. If you wanted to punch me right now, you can punch me. Punch me. Can I slap you? you if you want. Well, what, I don't want to. I don't, okay. All right. <laughs> This is also going to dispel the rumors that my slaps were weak. Yeah, you stand, up, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Come on. <laughs> Get the PTZ ready. This is huge. It's a big moment for the yard. Tense up? Yeah, yeah, you don't want to. Okay. That was weak. <laughs> yeah, not that. Not that's how life. you're hitting? Yeah, I felt bad. I felt bad as I was swinging. You didn't want to, because that's why you I don't think you could fight. Because uh, you wanted me no, to slap I, you, I slapped no the dog shit you're out of you. So what I'm saying is, you got to either be able to, you either can get hit or you can be able to hit somebody. I think most people don't want to hit somebody else. Yeah. Right? right. Uh, Phil was saying the same shit, yeah. No, no, you got, you got to, like, me, if you put me in a ring, I will hit you. Because I'm, well, somebody's got to go. I think go. that Zane could just take a hundred punches at Mango, and even if they land, he's tanking them. You, there's one fight that was on Twitter where uh, we did fight, and I just, he just hit me a bunch, and I was like... It was like the Minx fight. Like, Minx got hit so much more in her fight at Creator Clash. It was like Churdley's. Uh, wait, what do you mean? Churdley's versus Myth? Churdley's no, had a chin, man. No, Myth is better. Sorry, the, the Minx one is better, because she got hit way more times, but then she... Won the fight by sure, far. Sure, 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 sure. Every punch she threw was just so much more weight. Fiction Kalindi was like that. Because Fi Kalindi always came out the yeah. gate swinging for 45 seconds. Yeah. yeah. I, I talked to Kalindi about it. He just would only go and then, like, did, he only just held W. Yeah. Which I don't think you can do in boxing. You gotta. Yeah. He just, I, I think he landed. If he just went 30 seconds, landed his punches, and then played a little defense, he just went. He landed a comparable amount of punches to Fiction. But when Fiction hit Kalindi, Kalindi got hit way harder. Like, he couldn't take it. Because it was after Kalindi was tired. Yeah. So he couldn't defend as well. Fiction Kalindi was, was so the person gassed. the whole time that I had the most faith in to back up what they were saying on Twitter. Yeah, he was, yeah. Every time, every time that Fiction tweeted something about, like, I'm so fucking pumped, I'm so good at this, I've been training so hard, I'm like, 
I believe you. Guys, Fiction was going to tournaments, like uh, Smash tournaments, and asking people to meet him in a, like a meadow and take turns punching him in the stomach. Just what, to, when was this? Dude, every like, tournament. Yeah, every tournament in the past couple, two months. Oh, like in lead up to this. I thought you meant like years ago. <laughs> I was no, like, no, no, no. Weird. That's why he got like, a I brought my 30. boxing gloves. Come punch me. It's like a fucking carnival, well, right? He was, so he sick. was telling yeah. us in the interview he's been indoctrinating people into boxing in the Smash community. So like they would meet after and they would do like light sparring. Yeah. And that's how they would get, he would get them into Well, that's what you could boxing. tell Shep got hit and he just didn't care. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. Some He's people, ready. you just get hit and it doesn't bother well, you. Kalindi's also, his, his melee got so bad as the fight went on. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I, think, I think the raps were making his life a little harder. You can kind of tell even in the first round they played, but he was like I think only Falco's, full uh, hopping. Falco's the goat of chess boxing. The meta, yeah. Wait, really? What? Yeah, because you uh, shoot I lasers. Puff I think, or Martha B. I think I being able to just shoot lasers against somebody who... Probably does not want to get shot. Or can't lasers. move. Yeah. Yeah. I Imagine lasers. not being able to move, and then this guy's a fox who only shot full hops. Eight thousand lasers. Yeah. Dude, no, but Kalindi nailed a wave shine out of shield with wraps. <laughs> he said that on like the third round. It was unreal. Sometimes it, the there's certain just lizard braid things that top players have. Like, like he couldn't short hop anymore, but he ledge dash, and it was like six yeah, tangle. Yeah. Like, oh shit! And I was like, holy was fuck! So I don't money. even think he thought about it. <laughs> but there was certain winners too. Hello. Oh shit, dude! I just found out that Mint Mobile can save you no. up to fifteen dollars no a month. Way. I was so no, mad, dude. I thought you were taking a fucking call. That's crazy. Isn't it crazy? You He's can switch to me. Mint Mobile and buy any three month plan and get another three months uh free. I thought you were going to rip dude. with me when I said it was Sabrina Tabernacle. Ryan, if Ryan Reynolds was here right now, he'd look over and be like, "Damn, that was good." Two people I wish weren't here: Sabrina and Slime. But I do wish I had a new device, which you can get for a limited time <laughs> with six months of free service when you buy a select device and plan. Hey. Here's the thing: you have to switch to Mint Mobile, and now you might think that's a bad thing because Nick Yingling does it, it all the time. It is bad. It is bad. And, and let's be clear, it's bad when Nick Yingling does it, but when you do it, to and just switch to be clear, to I've never switched. Well, I would never well, switch. But I've just switched to now. Any hey, different hey, you know what I'm saying? Hey. Hey. Look, unlimited talk and text, high it's speed data. Fast and smooth. You know who uses Mint Mobile is Zipper. Y yeah. Zipper uses it, and how smooth can it get? It, well, is it as smooth as your, well, I don't want to say your it. Your body. <laughs> let's just say it's great all around. Okay. And the, hair, the most hairless wireless service, Mint Mobile. Hey. Mintmobile.com. We'll keep it simple for you. Mintmobile.com slash the yard. And what, ha what happens, Ludwig, when you go there? I already told them. They cut their fucking bill. Just get the cut, fucking cut thing. Cut the bill. What, to what? I already told you. You're going to fucking ask me. I already told you. You're going to fucking ask me. I'm going to fucking ask you. You're going to fucking ask me. You could have switched anything about it. You switched Mango, Mango. So what are you thinking about right now? As a pure spectator, whenever the chess was on, I... Did not give a fuck. I think, I think what's, cool I about, zero fucks uh, about the chess. what's cool about melee boxing that wasn't as cool in chess boxing was when, when you knew that checkmate was close, yeah. it only ever got hype if they didn't see it. Yeah. But if, they, if you kind of knew they were about to get checkmated, you're like, fuck, they're not going to box again? Like, it's like, I feel yeah, like that the was the melee was I no had. matter yeah. what. It's, but melee, melee, like, it's, it's melee. So yeah. like, the game is hype. Yeah. Even when it's being, but chess yeah. isn't hype. It's just. But I think that did happen a lot. What do you mean? Like there was a lot of mates that were blundered. Th and those were hype. But I'm saying, in saying yeah. I'm saying as a sport, not our event. Like as a sport, I feel like, oh, if, if it's like one move away. Like it was hype that Dana didn't see Mate in one as the grandmaster. Yeah, that was hype, but she should have probably seen it. But she didn't. Yes. So, this, so that was yeah. cool. Uh, okay. But uh, not as good as boxing. I think the problem is, like, for the average person in the room, and probably the average person watching online, unless may maybe I'm missing something because like I uh, you also don't have like the casters to like contextualize it to you. But for me, average Joe. It's way easier to understand he hit him off Final Destination yeah. right? well, than no, it is no, to like, no, 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 oh, no, no, what's no, going no. on in this chess board? You got rose tinted glasses because you're pretending to be dumb and say that's what people are thinking. But me, no, 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 no. I'm measuring it by alone. noise. I'm measuring it by noise in the arena. Like the average screams from the crowd during the Smash matches versus the chess matches are just like every stock. Very every yeah, stock. Every yeah. stock that's taken. It's. Woo! I think. I think the well, it sucked that the board wasn't working, but uh, I think the eval bar could have been bigger and explained more. To like the average Joe, because it was really thin on the screen. You can, I think most people didn't know it was there. Yeah. I know it's there because I play we chess. We didn't put the eval bar on the main screen too, or talk about it because uh, I think it's like it's information the fighters. No, it was had. above the head. Right, the but the one below wasn't there, and that's the one that everyone on the uh, floor okay. saw. So we had the lower screen that was very large, the lower where, where the walkouts would happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the chess LED board wall. was there with no eval bar. Right, right, right. And right. so no one on the floor could see it. Oh, I was looking like this. Right, I was, I was on the floor yeah. looking up. I'll be um, honest, uh, I could hear everything. 
uh, in with the headphones on? Well, yeah, when I was oh. boxing. Oh wow, mm-hmm. interesting. Dude, well, everything. Even then, like they couldn't find their mates. But I think that I think as someone who doesn't give a shit about chess, that just the literal visual like language of two heaving boxers like hunched over a chessboard is still really funny. Yeah. And even though I didn't care about the chess and having casters and you guys be like, oh my God, there's made in one. Let's see if they see it and they don't. Like, I was still hype and I don't care. Dude, so that's a, a good event. It's still really, really good. There's a really sick shot in there somewhere where it's like, I think it's like the second or third. I think it's game three of Fiction Clindy Melee and they're both heaving. But yeah. they're forced to play melee. Yes. They're, gonna play their cams. <laughs> yeah. they're just inflating and deflating. Yeah. It's so crazy. Look, because they're shirtless too. So you like see like their whole chest. They're like drenched in sweat. Yeah. I, I think they were. Crazy. I think they were one of the best. One of the best cards. Best card. Best card. Go. Ooh. Andrea, easy. Andrea was a fucking demon monster. I'm, I'm Andrea uh, Pilt. No, yeah. I, I think it had to be something that was more. It depends how you, what, how you measure best card. Maybe myth churdleys. Andrea, myth. Got, the, the Andrea fight got me the most hype. I was like, holy shit. Like the chess yeah. was sick, and her being an evil demon was sick, and her needing to win in boxing, it had everything. I think Point Crow Toast was really I'm good. I'm Team Point Crow Toast. I think it was really good because because Point Crow came out the gate kind of fucking him up, and then Toast had a round where he kind of came back and he started to swing at him too, and he landed a bunch of punches, and then uh, the chess was like like Point Crow was one move, mate and one misses it by a single queen space, uh, has no idea he's missed mate and one. He go to one the chess right there. And then Toast comes all the way back. He point he, and then po, or, uh, Point Crow blundered his queen. And they got concussions. And they does, both got uh, concussions. Does and Andrea I, know who I am? <laughs> I, 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 Only because I, 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 I went, I'll up, ask her, I, went on. I went up to her after to like tell her like, oh my god, your fight. Like I was like giving her props, and then I was like after I was like, what? Alexandra does not know who you are. I was like, wait, I know that for sure. I, I'm under the impression when I'm at an event that everyone knows who I am. Not even like in a cocky way. I'm like, yeah, you know Mango. Like, but then I was after I was like. I'm just like some drunk beard guy, little short guy. <laughs> and I just go and I'm like, without context, like, I, I who witnessed the fuck this. Am I? I saw this happen. Yeah, I was like, so I, I would just tell her. Because came up and he's like, he was like, I love the Botez sisters. I with Alexandra. And I could, I could tell she had no sisters. idea who Mega was. Yeah, yeah. So, I, so I, I, I stepped in because I heard this happen and I was like, hey, I'll see you tomorrow. Like, like, like you are one of us. You're yeah, a friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is a, a fair assumption. Do we ever tell you? <laughs> so I was just reply? after, I was like, wait, she him, might, this might be weird. I just assume, like, I'm just some weird oh, drunk d- guy. Ludwig sent Andrea a message that says, do you know who this is? And it's a picture of Mango smiling that he took today. She's replying. He says, she says, LOL, all caps, uh, he looks, dot, 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 familiar? <laughs> Maybe? Doesn't know the goat. Wow. I think your assumption is fair, because we, I, I, did we ever tell you about that BTS content piece that got made where we interviewed a ton of Counter-Strike players? It was a bunch of Counter Strike players from all over the world, and they're getting shown different esports players from different games. Mm-hmm. We showed them like twenty, and uh, from all of like the biggest games that you could play. And you and Armada are in there for melee, mm-hmm. and you were the only person besides Faker that they all recognized. That, that's what I think. I think I'm. <laughs> right. I just think I'm an esports legend. I think <laughs> you know who Mango uh, here, is. Here's a conversation. I sent a picture of you. She said, I don't know, looks familiar, maybe why. I said, it's Mango. He's a Super Smash Bros. player. She says, oh, ah, uh, yes, the Mango. Big fan. Six exclamation points. And she says, I was kidding, but yes. Why? <laughs> She's like, I love, I love when you do a fade back aerial on Shield. <laughs> so she knows about Royal Flush. <laughs> She's like, oh yeah, Royal Flush. That was great. That was a great. Thing. I, wa- I watched Eric punt maybe five hundred dollars at a pie gout table because he's kept saying Mango won Royal Flush. Yeah, and then he pushed money forward. That was like his, it was his good luck his charm. Death omen, and he just kept losing money. <laughs> <laughs> um, dude, uh, on on uh, Point Crow, uh, I I mentioned it on commentary because I thought it was really funny. But he was, it, it was actually insane. He was, I I made a joke that he was begging for a cup for his 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 downstairs berries and cream. <laughs> but yeah. he he definitely in the Discord was like, hey, can we get cups? Hey, hey, like I really and you have to both agree to the gear that you wear. Yeah. Um, and he isn't you can't even for cups. Yeah, apparently. I don't know. Whoa. What do you mean? Like, you, uh, you have to agree to cups? That's weird. If actually. anyone wants to use something, both people need to both use people it. Have and to if use no it. one agrees, then we go with the safer option. Okay, so he's so going to force it. He has to force the cup. Um, oh. And just, and Toast is like, yeah, that's fine, whatever. Like, I got balls, too. And uh, and then the only nut shot of the entire night was, was, was Eric's. And mm-hmm. I was like, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. 
What the fuck is that? Dude, Stan's was telling me about all the boxing grime. There's a lot. There's, There's a, a lot, lot of boxing and grime. Boxing. What's There's the there, cheese? So you can get away with the nut shot. You can get away with a shot after the bell. Those are like some gimmies. But also, you step on someone's foot as they're walking back, like in the ring, and then they'll like stumble and you can. And you're not them. allowed to do it, but you can get away with it. It's warnings. You, you, get, warnings. you always get one. <sighs> so you can always hit him with one cheese. Yeah, one cheese. You can, you can rap and then hit him a couple times, like when you guys are wrapped up. That's crazy. There's a lot of cheese. I was happy to see cheese. no boxers do the fake tap grime. I think that's like the worst shit. When you go up for like the fist bump before you fight and you swing. Oh, that's like that's so grime. disrespect. No, that's but that nice. happened. That happened in Creator Clash. Right, but it's not even cheese. That's just, that's just grime. You're, just bad, you're a bad person. <laughs> it's a bad you're morally man. wrong. You can't. You're just, yeah. evil. Him, uh, evil man. It's legal though. It's, it's, it's just. <laughs> I think it's just purely grime. Right. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I think uh, the one thing that we we haven't talked about. Is the Andrea Dina fight? Yeah, the ruling. Uh, just, just a crazy were, roller coaster. So, so uh, the my perspective of learning about this Mr. is Tumblestone. Andrea came up to me. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, our beer boys. <laughs> Get, getting the work. It's growing, right? <laughs> Andrea came up to me and was like, "Hey," and it was while you were slap boxing. She's like, "Hey, I don't know because he's up there right now, but can you talk to Ludwig and see? Because like this happened in my fight, and the referee says this." And I want him to like, you know, announce the overturned decision on stream like before it ends. And I'm like, I cannot do this because I, I, I have no way to like in air you or anything. I don't know who gets to make this call. And at the end of the night at the after party, we're all getting like shuffled and kicked out of the after party. And you spent like maybe the last 30, 40 minutes of the party sitting at a table with her three refs discussing what had <laughs> happened in the match is and like Fortnite the overrated? conversation is still going on like as people are getting pushed out of the after party room and i was wondering if you guys made a decision last night because it was yeah. a big it was a big fucking deal it was like what dominated conversation like all evening i think we like. did so you watched the andrea dina fight you said it was your favorite fight do you think andrea should have won uh well, who treat the the streets know who won <laughs> the streets know who won the streets know who won so the thing is uh there was like uh, I didn't realize until after, but Andre was pretty mad about the yeah. results. Well, you fight, you want to, right? You want to win if you need to get your ass beat, or I don't know. And so I, I uh, at, right after the stream ended, I, I like, like Jacob comes up to me and he's like, "Hey, just a heads up, Andrea might try to talk to you. She's a little mad about what happened." <laughs> and I was like, "Okay." And then she comes up to me and she's like, "Hey, the ref talked to me and he said he was wrong. So do I win now?" And I was like, that can't be how that went. <laughs> and so I'm like, well, if he did, maybe. But and so then we have like this roundtable meeting. It's like the three referees. It's the chess boxing world champ. It's Matt, the other chess boxing world champ. It's like a documentarian of chess boxing. And we're all like, OK, what are the rules? And uh, and if you look at the tape in the third round of boxing, the sixth round of their fight, if you get three standing counts or four total standing counts in the in the fight, uh, it's just an auto end. And right before, like literally two seconds on the clock, Dina gets kind of hit and then steps back. The ref breaks them up because they're like grappled. She rests her arms on the rope, which the ref immediately looks at and is like, oh, you're not allowed to do that. Starts a count. He counts to like maybe one. Here it is on the screen here. So this is this is there's already been three standing counts in the fight, two in this round. If there's one more, she Andrea should win. <laughs> so right here, they break them up. Six. Yeah, five. this was insane. That arms on the belt is not allowed. So he immediately starts a count right there. Counts one. The bell rings. Why? And then he stops the count. So it's a bit of a weird scenario there. Now, the reason he started the count is because, again, arms on the rope. She, he wouldn't have counted it if she could have put her arms up, which I think she was in a good enough energy to do. But you're not allowed to do that. Uh, and the reason he stopped uh, the count is because the bell rang. But you don't even need to count. If it's the fourth one, I don't yeah, think he right. Yeah, you don't count. Yeah. It's just you wave. I think he was muscle no. memory saw. Oh, person on rope must start count. Not oh shit, we're at the fourth count. This is the Damn. decision maker. So it was a wrong call. It was either a wrong call. Well, no, I think the call was fine. I think like because well, no, the, the final out. decision was just flat out wrong because it was four TKOs or four uh, oh, standing, so, standing well, knockdowns. Well, yeah, what should have happened is the fight should have ended there. It was the fourth one. He should have waved it off, called it, 
the winner should have announced Andrea by technical knockout. But because the round is ending at the same time, it kind of cuts everything off. Because the like, bell rang, which isn't supposed to happen during a count, yeah. he stopped and he's just like, like, oh, the bell rang and they kept going. Oh, fuck up. oh, the bell, the timer's supposed to freeze. The well, timer is counting. Yeah, yeah, the timer. Yeah. Yeah. one second. You, you don't gotta, ring. You don't ring. You so there's count. a lot of fuck ups, and nobody at any point said, "Oh, we should correct this live." Where's Nick uh, while Allen? While the fight was going. <laughs> 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 Do we not play Nick Allen steps in as the game god of chess boxing? <laughs> Hold on, I, like a Nick Allen job. I made the LCS, everyone, <laughs> <laughs> and I, I say that and I know one. what to do here. <laughs> well, I just drew a Nick Allen straight, but can I? You see this? Yeah. He's, it's a VIP. You are wearing the same, oh. literally the same clothes from yesterday, same and the VIP. Oh, the wristband. The wristband I gave. I gave you. No, Nick Allen gave it to me. No, I gave you two. So you guys knew the the, 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 the yard rankings was Slime, dude, Blood, Aiden, Nick. <laughs> yeah. After last night, Nick is now number three, and you've tumbled down. Yes, sir. Welcome. Oh, well, this shirt is a memorial to, 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 to your fuck? ranking in the <laughs> top two. Top two. I've done top nothing. Two. To I've always said I've been the Falco of his life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, slime's my five. Top two, and I'm yeah. not two. Uh, <laughs> I, I show up when so he really needs. We, we show. I'm like, I'm like, Aiden, give me some fucking wristbands. I'm like, I. The whole time, I'm not gonna go into it. I didn't have a thing. I didn't have a fucking pass. I didn't have via. I had nothing. I'm not gonna go into it though. <laughs> not gonna do it. We'll skip over that. We'll skip over we, that. We'll skip I'm over. Go to <laughs> Won't go into it. Well, of I did last minute because I. Well, I was supposed to go to Smash World Tour. I'm so sorry go, if I came last minute. Yeah, but even the day before, or. Yeah, but I'm Mango. I'm, I, I like to think we're all good buddies. I like to think that... <laughs> are. are we, we not are. good buddies? Are we not friends? I like to think oh, that maybe I can show up last minute. I got you into everything. So. I still got you tickets. I still got yeah, you into VIP like and open bar. Oh my god. <laughs> There's my oh girlfriend. My god. I'm looking like a chump. And, and, and I gave you party like, wristbands. I gave you two. And I said, Mango, I'm sorry. I don't have a lot. And the fighters... And their plus ones don't have any yet, and they need to get some. So I can only give you two and well, well, right now. Oh, I was here. I was here. I'll step hey, in. I've always said Mango deserves three. I was here. Shut I'll up. step in. <laughs> Shut up. So then I asked Nick Allen, after you give me your whole spiel, I'm like, Nick Allen, can I get some? He just doesn't even say anything. Nick Allen fucked me. me. Nick Allen fucked me. He just me. gave him to me. Yeah, Nick Allen, Nick Allen, moments before this, when we were together talking to Nick Allen, he's like, hey, man, I have a lot of wristbands. We can be liberal with them. And in my head... I'm counting them, and I know how many people we actually have to get into this after party. And I'm thinking Nick Allen doesn't know what he's talking Love about. Nick <laughs> and mo not even 15 minutes later, I am proven correct when we're all out of wristbands. Yeah, and I, I did see Nick I Allen. I have two, two, three groups of fighters and their parties standing outside the fucking party not able to get into the after party of the event they competed the, the in chest meanwhile get in. you you and I'm fucking Joey and Gio. you Joey and Gio and, Gio. Gio. and I'm, I'm trying to explain to Amon who just beat up Trent that like I'm sorry I can't get you into the after party right now sorry, sorry that, Trey I, the trash man I'm, took your spot yeah, sorry sorry Trey and is Zach's in there flame. right now Trey <laughs> Trey and Gio. It was Jack so fun. funny. Trey, Trey and Churdley's fucking possum are in there. But you, Amon, who <laughs> the have a belt on, cannot get in it's because the fucking Galen Center sucks. So no, so I, I did run into Nick, Nick Allen by the uh, by the security door because I I put the CRT in my car and came back and I I see him and he's kind of just like nervously pacing and I'm like, what's up? He's like. Yeah, I'm just trying to like avoid people. Like I'm getting mauled for wristbands right now. Yeah, so yeah, that's funny because it lines up with how right wrong he was. He came up to me. He came up to me after he said that. Hey, man, I think we could be liberal with these. We have so a lot. Funny. Comes up to me maybe ten minutes later, and he was like, uh, <laughs> he's got like claw marks on his face. His <laughs> shirt's ripped. He's like, uh, hey, so I'm actually almost out. I was wrong, and I was like, hmm, maybe maybe Aiden knew what he was talking about the like whole slime. time. Aiden's like slime. Mango's well, like slime. He apologized. Yeah, and we rectified it. But he hasn't apologized. He won't acknowledge that I've done nothing apologize. wrong. Well, look, well, look, I was there. I was there. And I saw what happened. I will say, Aiden was posturing like Aiden was going to, well, like Mango was going to get no wristbands. Yeah, he, he gave me an attitude like, at I'm not going to get wristbands. was posturing like Mango was going to get no wristbands. And Mango, and Mango and then hold then on, shut up, shut up, shut up. Mango was badgering him. Mango was like, you're not giving Mango a wristband? <laughs> he kept saying that. He's like, you're not giving really? Mango a wristband. I come to your event, you're not giving Mango a wristband. And, and Aiden's like, so, I feel, I feel bad for Aiden in this moment because he, 
He's got everyone coming up doing this to him, and he has to like. Eventually, he will run out. This and he won't, summits, he won't even be able to hand it to someone to fix the problem. And that person might be fucking, you know, XQC. It Ron literally Hamilton. was a mod <laughs> so, who fought him. So, 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 so finally, right Aiden like disgruntled. He's like, I'm you because because he's asking for four. He's like, I want four. Yeah, that's four. insane. You're he's such like, a fucking. He's like, give me four. Aiden's like, you can. You get, you get two, and he like barely even hands it. He like barely hands <laughs> you it, and, and Mango snatches it. He, he, no, yeah. he wouldn't give you four because he doesn't think about anything. He yeah. doesn't <laughs> think about it. He's yeah, not whoa, thinking whoa, about Amon 30 whoa, minutes whoa. later. I actually had a solution for this. I have a badge that lets me escort. So, no, it didn't. No, no. It didn't. Because Not I also VIP. have that badge. No, they kicked and it didn't let you escort anymore. They kicked that me out of the VIP. Which they should do. Yeah. thinks about yeah, these things. Were, they thought about these things all day. Yeah. Yeah. I woke up, I woke up at 5 a.m. <laughs> this is true. This is a true like story. This is a true story. I woke up enough. at 5 a.m. today because I had a nightmare about tickets. I had an ethereal nightmare about yesterday that woke me up, even though I'm so fucking tired. Can we can we have a moment of silence? Because I think Aiden did a great job. Uh, yesterday, not a, not a round of applause. Not, a moment no, of silence. No, the best I part is I really, really no. tried. I, I, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. Joey, two seconds. Uh, two seconds. Fucking, it's, you fucked it up. It's too late. Good it's one. it's you two seconds. Up. Good Joey's, one. Yeah. Joey's at the goal. Joey's like, I'll try to get Hey man, more. like maybe he's busy. I'm like, no, I don't give a fuck if he's busy. He needs to get the Joey's fuck out. Trying to be a human being. Yeah, Joey's like being compassionate. I'm like, no. I'm like, I'm Joey's just t posing. Like, I just want to go in. Joey said the funniest fucking thing to me. Noel's coming. He keeps Noel keeps coming up to me. and He's like. A, so you're gonna give me a fans and family code for that merch? He kept he keeps asking me for merch. I'm like, you, I'm not, I don't have that power. Like, ask Aiden. Aiden's the only person who can do this for you. I don't even know if he can do I it. I love you. hitting them with an ask Aiden on the one day that they probably shouldn't be asking Aiden for a merch code. <laughs> I just can't help him. And he will not stop asking me. So I'm this trying to get him away from me. He's a Gio. Uh -huh. And then and uh and he's like, bro, I've been wear, I've been wearing Mogul Moose merch before. It was cool. That is true. And I, and I said, I know. It's all you wear ever. It's the only clothes. <laughs> and uh and Joey right next to him and he's like, I've been buying it before. It was cool. And then uh, Joey never true. wears it. And then and then he was he like, "Well, oh, he explained this." And he goes, "Well, I don't wear it anymore because Mango hates Ludwig." So, <laughs> wait, 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 that's different. That's different. Like, I, just, said, I just keep it. Wait, 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 I just keep it hung wait, 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 up. Wait, 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 defend this because you said he hates me. He said you hate me. Well, this no, is Joey he has, said double, this he has to a me. double entendre. Because I don't think you know what that means. No, no, no. Does it make sense? Aiden Ross doesn't even know how to say that, so it makes sense. In some universe, it does. But Joey hates you because I hate you because I do. And then he hates you because he was really into Pokemon cards. And he says you and all the content creators made the prices go up. It's been years. I He's, also talked to Joey. And the day after, he literally, he, if you go to his house in his closet, you're the furthest thing in the back. You got put <laughs> way in the back ones. in the rotation. The he could have yeah. sold his Pokemon cards, made some money. The, the price is jacked up. He's not a seller. The way, He's a the way Joey made it sound to me was that him wearing the hoodie just made Mango mad out of principle. Yeah. No, okay. You can't I, wear that on my stream. I, could that. I talked to yeah. Joey and he's like, you know, you're still our favorite in the household with me and Kathy, right? I'm like, what? Really? <laughs> Apparently, Joey's girlfriend Kathy has been trying to get a ringtone of me saying, bro, what the fuck from the lie detector video we did years ago. <laughs> She's that big of a fan. Well, they're like original. They they yeah. They're down with the cause. So so you're you're out, you're in the back of the rotation. Slime stock on the uptick. Which Atrox is neck about to be broken. Norwalk loves slime. Let's go. Slime's cold. welcome the in the streets. No, the streets no slime. <laughs> yeah, they, they, it's Mango <laughs> fan. Okay, wait. Oh, it's Mango, yeah. We, we shat on Aiden. I will, I want to share a, a kind moment nope. that I had. Never mind. No. <laughs> uh, I, 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 went, I went to say goodbye because I, I left the, the VIP, the, the party early, and I go up and I'm like, I'm going home, man. And I go up and I hugged Aiden. And I hug him, and then I kind of like feel his body move, and, and I look at him, <laughs> and he's, he, was, he was crying. And I'm like, are you okay? What's wrong? And he's like, <laughs> and, I'm like and, I hug, and I hug him again. I'm like, it's okay. What's, is everything all right? You're crying. And, and then I, I hug him again. And then I look at him and he's just, he's just crying more. And I'm like, this reminds me and of I him. was like, is it, are you, you're happy, right? And he's like, yeah. I'm happy. Okay. And I'm like, okay. And I hug him again. I like, feel like I need to take care of him. And I'm like, okay, I'll see no, you it's later. Because a little before that, I even bug Aiden to get me a charger. I'm like, <laughs> like the whole. I don't know why. I think just being an annoying little shit is so funny. <laughs> Even about coming here, like I don't know why. So hey, like, I'm like, hey, I need a fucking hey, charger. Phone <laughs> charger. And then I, you know what my response is? <sighs> is it USB C or? Yeah. Like, wow. <laughs> you got it. The goat. He's the goat, bro. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Yeah, uh, well, you do like being annoying because I gifted a hundred subs to Zane, and then you messaged me and you said I saw that. 
And I was like, I was like, saw what? And you're like, gifting a Zane now. And why you huh? liking other other girls' Instagram posts? Yeah. <laughs> dude, I was like, dude, man. And I told him, I was like, I have gifted you like ten thousand subs. And he's like, what's a hundred more then? And I was like, what <laughs> am I wrong? I am your Ma- highest Mango gifter. messaged me like last week, and he's like, so we getting tattooed together? And I'm like, yeah, I'm super down. And he goes, all right, set it up. That's not a mango job. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> I'm it's gonna right. set it up. Oh. It's true. No, I don't think you will. Yeah, I live right. my life very. This- this There's is a just mango rules. You're, right now, this is why I think this is what because this event. The problem is this wasn't a smash event, and it's the day you're making this as hard to deal with as possible. You're towing the Mewtwo King line because Mewtwo Whoa. King, Mewtwo oh. King. This is Mewtwo King. You don't get to do your Mewtwo King thing anymore. You're not. You're, yeah, except you I get to, there. You, you don't get to lose. You don't get to retire, Mogul lose to fans of the and then ask people for Whoa. their prescription glasses. <laughs> you don't get to do that anymore. <laughs> your behavior, your behavior isn't tolerated. Okay, That's why I say. Wait, wait, wait. I, and, hold up. Hold and okay. Mego is towing the Mewtwo King line How? Right? because because you're showing up on the day of. I'm gonna saying, console you. Up, asking for four people, <laughs> I get you into everything you need. I even get you into the open bar. Do you think this and is And then somehow at the end of the weekend, I'm moved. To the okay. bottom of the He's list. So mad. It's okay, I'm so, is he I'm so mad. I'm so okay, mad. I'm so mad. Come on. Like Let me him, tell man. you one Mewtwo so King story. This is the, and the reason I throw Mewtwo King onto the bus is I hate that somebody has the audacity to do nothing in the community for three years and then ask me to fly them out to events. Let me back you up. Let me back, <laughs> up. Let me back you up. I like Mewtwo King. Mewtwo King hit me up and he was like, he asked, he was like, hey, can I come to uh, your it Smash made me event? Feel a little better, man. <laughs> Remember, he, he was like, hey, can I come to your Smash event, the one that's yeah. happening next weekend? I was like, yeah, sure, you can come. And he's like, all right, can you pay me for commentary? I was like, that's not what I meant. <laughs> Dude, come on. I was like, you can come if you want, but I'm not going to pay he's you. Yeah, exactly. Asker. Exactly. Yeah. Can we talk about your event next week? Yeah. And how you're going to have to pay me to go? Okay, so no, we're See, not. I told the Mitch King line, but it's a mango line. So no matter uh, what. It's blue. You got to pay respects. <laughs> <laughs> <things are just, laughs> right. Why do you think? Why do you think I cave every time? Why, yeah. do you think, why do you think at the end of the day, after everything that has happened, after the day that I had, I got you the fucking phone charger? Those are some fucking nasty ass nerds. You got him the charger? Yes, yeah. I plugged it in for That's him. Crazy. I fucking set it up. That's I crazy. took his phone. I didn't make him plug it in. That's so sweet. That's crazy. And, and you know why? It's because when Mango <laughs> recovered against Swedish Shalite, no one thought he was getting back on the left and side of the screen. Back. And then he got and back. And then you got and back. how do you get back? And then you got back. And you won Smash Summit 11. And you're a good friend. And we all love you. And he's winning with Falco in 2022. And that's you should move him up on the list. No, that puts me down. Uh, we'll see. But. <laughs> I just. Should, 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 no. Real quick, I actually do need a beer, Aiden. <laughs> uh, Aiden. Cha-cha. I've been watching. I just finished watching Sopranos. So I'm like. To Great me, shit. it's just. You got to pay respect to me. I'm the. You feel like the godfather. In male. Like, in the real world, I don't think of myself any more special than the person I'm buying beer Unless next you're talking to. talking to Andrea. What do you mean? <laughs> you thought she'd know you, bro. Well, no, no, no. I didn't think she knew me. But I, I he realized I, I after the approached fact. her like I thought she knew me. And then as I left, I was like, wait, she might have no idea who I am. Mm. But yeah. I, so like, I don't think I'm any special. But when it comes to melee, I, yes, I do think everyone should be kissing, kissing my finger. <laughs> I do fair. think everyone should be fair. kissing That's my fair. big I house nine ring. Also, um, only in melee. I feel yeah, like. he, Mango said. Like, I, I think I brought this up the first time you were on, but I just want to say it again. Mango said like the funniest thing ever when uh, we were in a hotel room and Leah's playing Falco. And he goes, Leah, you play Falco. Of course you're a Mango fan. No one who plays Falco <laughs> isn't was. a Mango fan. She's like, yeah. And I thought of it. I'm like, yeah, there's not anyone who would like be like, I love Falco, but I hate the way Mango plays Falco. Like, you just can't. Yeah, even like can't Ginger, who I think is like your polar opposite in terms of like play style, you won. And then you just talked about, uh, what was it, main stage? You just talked about how shit you were playing. And Ginger was like, I can't believe he's saying he's playing shit. It was like beautiful I love, <laughs> I love listening to ginger talk about mango oh yeah. it's my favorite thing yeah <laughs> he said nicer things than lauren has said about me in the last like <laughs> i'm like I, i'm mango fan like i do the thing for him i'm like yeah, yeah. i'm like you're right ginger. i'm like i wish everybody else talked like you you're coming to my event without getting paid i'm not coming okay look this is this this is the there's no there's nothing else you got no one else Panda's gone, VGBC's gone, I'm all you got. No, because you know what I'm getting mad about? Everyone's calling Ludwig the GOAT. No, and, and no it's one's pissing me that. off. No, everyone's like, Ludwig's the GOAT. I, and it's upsetting me. Many people say this. Because <laughs> no, all you no, do no. is no. money. One of us has hard work, talent, determination, great. Well, and the <laughs> other one of us has Eamon and money. I yeah. Have to, I have <laughs> That's to be two on big, right big, now. big things. <laughs> yes, but I, it, it undermines my GOATness, and I don't like it. You have a Falco, I have an Amon. I have a Falco is, and a Fox. Is mad. My, and my and money a is your Fox, and my Amon is your Falco. 
Okay, let me settle this. I'm not going. You're going. You, I got I, you basketball tickets for your birthday. As you should. Kiss the ruined mango. I'm 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 uninviting Gio. <laughs> That's fine. I'll take my son. And Joey. Yeah, hey, whoa, wait. Hey. <laughs> hey, hey, hold, hold on, hold on. Joey does this thing where every time he sees me, he like uh because I did this uh this smashing event at I forget which smash event. Genesis. Yeah, and he was and he like was at the booth across with Mango practicing. He looked over and he's like, he said to Mango in private, he's like, man, Ludwig's ass isn't all that. No. He whispered to me. He's like, it really isn't that big. And That's so then not every true. time I see him now, he starts poking my butt. <laughs> and he starts giggling <laughs> and runs away. Yeah, feast my eyes on that boy. <laughs> he pokes it and runs. And I can't tell if he's approving or disapproving, but it's. So look, can I. I don't want to go to your event. Fuck not you, because you're going. I don't. But Zane's not going. He's a great reason. I won't go into it. So it's fair. But it's like, what, what am I going for? For what number one in the world, gamers? if you but win. I, I don't want to be number one because Zane had a family issue. And I don't want to bring mm. that narrative because I feel bad mm. for him because he already has half of Zane's career is an asterisk, which I don't think is fair. Because What I, if we all agree? I know how good Zane is. What the, if we the, all agree? I feel bad. Then we'll all agree that even if you win, you won't be number one. We all agree yeah, that your, your ranking is influenced by the event. But then if I lose, I'm going to get dropped to like three no, or four. No, you're not. You're solid number no. two. There's I think no so. Shot. Who, would, who would take, who who would take over? Who could you lose to at this tournament? They always stats that. people are, no, 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 they're no. anti-Mango, and they I've are. said this. They are. Who could you lose to at this tournament that would move you if I, Let's just say I got ninth place. I think okay. the only reality no, I, is I lose if, it. If, if, no. No, because uh, you can't. I don't think so. I think I'm solid number two. Your record against Cody is too good for him to be put above you, I think. I agree. The only person, I think the only situation <laughs> is like where you get like 13th or 9th and Amsa wins. And then maybe? Yeah, but that's already annoying to me. Because I, <laughs> I don't want to win because I don't want to... You're Step not on Zane's shoes. There's not gonna gonna win. 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 for you. I will win. You're not gonna win. I will. I know what you're doing. It's not gonna uh, work. Hey, hey, I'm hey, hey, Mango, Mango, how much money? What? How much money to go? What do you want? <laughs> Hundred subs we call it right now. That's it? Uh, Ludwig, you're just, such a cheap date. Ludwig, Ludwig, just, Jesus Christ. Just, no, you do it. You make money. I'll split no. it. 50 50. No, no, I'm not 25. The thing is your event. It's yeah, I'm running it. I don't make the money from the viewership. It's not even about money. It's I haven't been practicing. I've been, you know, my birthday yeah, was so you're not gonna win. So, so Friday, Saturday, <laughs> Sunday, and then today I'm getting drunk again because you made me come here. I'm missing out on melee rank. Why do you think that coming here means you got to get drunk? Because I'm hungover, you and I, the only way here? I can no, be a good podcast <laughs> person is if I drink a few beers. Yeah. Yeah. Do you Otherwise, wanna, I feel like shit. You have to wanna, heal. This is business. This is for you. I don't do. Yeah, we get expense that beer actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's thing I drink for me. I drink for the people watching this and for you. Talk to Wayne Shane. We can cook the books here, but. The fact of the matter is you're coming and you're not winning. <laughs> yeah, but we don't cook the thing is I don't even want to win. You know what it's like to go to an event and I don't want to win? Dude, okay. Yeah, I me, saw that was main stage. You won. Also, I know. It's not it's not and shameful. I don't feel good about it. It's not shameful to win the event just because Zane had a thing. It's not like you're spitting in his face. You're just competing. You're doing your no, job. No, but it's gonna bring in an annoying narrative no, that I don't want to bring to I the table. I already saw the Redditors. They said even if Mango wins, he's still not number one. They were saying that. They said that they weeks actually ago. do say that. All the time. Because they pulled up your side by side stats and they said, even if Mango wins, he's not number one. And, in they, the DDT, and that's what they said. Yeah, yeah, but it'll bring it into the conversation. And then I feel bad because Zane. You're is, not winning. He's an asterisk. <laughs> I'm not winning. But I thought I wasn't winning main stage. And then I just won. Because yeah. I'm that nasty right now. Yeah, you are pretty <laughs> you know, nasty. I'm you disgustingly are nasty. nasty. Yes. Yeah. It's a good bracket. I got a lucky bracket. I said that in we'll my make interview. It, it's a, we'll make it a bad bracket. Let's cook the bracket. Cook the bracket. Cook the bracket. Cook the bracket. Yeah. No, I'll. Hey, I'll dead. cook it. Cook well, it. no, I'm number one cook. seed. You can't outcook me. <laughs> no, we're cooking. We're you cooking. Can't. What are you going to do? You we're making an eighth seed not go also. Because if you back out, you <laughs> fuck me. You fuck wow. and? And you, you fuck you good, and, good and hard at the chest. You got four. You are It's the best person to fuck right now. Look, at the end of the day, I'm going to be there. Woo! Just know that I don't want to be there. Fair. I will bitch the absolute whole time, and yep. I will bitch all week. Hey, everybody who's watching, <laughs> look at us. We look cool. Take <laughs> it away, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so uh, do you? I'm gonna. I don't have my prescription in now because I'm wearing cool shady rays. But I'm gonna try to think what I think I see. Shady rays. Uh, they make them plastic. <laughs> you're th you're <laughs> thinking that 
Are these the only colors and designs they come in? There are so nope. many more. They got plenty more designs. Yeah. You know that you know that barbecue sauce that's really good? This is like that, but for sunglasses. Ooh, or Sweet like, shady rays. Or like the hot uh, sandwich howling rays. Yeah, it's going to be in the fridge for a long time and I, still be good. I want more shady back, shady back. And shady speaking back. of putting barbecue sauce on stuff, shady rays also provides 10 meals to fight hunger in America. That's something Ludwig's for me. I'm, I'm, I'm fighting away fucking nerds by looking cool as shit and getting all the baddies. Here's that the thing about true. me is I get these because they look good. I don't give a shit about the people that it feeds. What about kids? <laughs> Do you care about the kids that are starving? I did not stutter. Okay, he didn't stutter. He <laughs> doesn't <laughs> care about them. The kids, the kids are, you I know, guess, they don't have no, to no, worry no, about the stars, wait, 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 but he wait, doesn't wait. care. Let me defend myself. There's a couple things that I do like, and it's their 30-day exchange in return and best protection program of any eyewear. Right. He so has nothing. that memorized. It's ShadyRays.com, the first oh. edible sunglasses you will ever eat. Go to ShadyRays.com, use code the yard. You Don't get 50% eat them. off two or more pairs. You for as, low as $54. Shouldn't. For as low as $54, also you can eat them with your mouth. Shouldn't eat them. Hey, Aiden, I'm going to... Should not eat them. I'm going to throw you my Shady Rays, and you're going to catch them on your face. Yep. Okay, you ready? Don't... I won't eat them, though. Ready? Because that would be bad. Archie and fix that break. in post. Archie, put That's that on his face. Sturdy yeah, Archie, you fix that really yeah. easy. So, Archie, make them laugh. All right, face and he looks really cool. Jayrays.com, use code the yard, 50% off, two or more pairs for as low as $54. I never recognized, because I know that you like complaining, but I never re recognized how much you love complaining <laughs> until this morning when you shot me that text, and you're like, <laughs> ranked melee's out. And I was like, oh, yeah. And you're like, and I got to do this podcast. <laughs> and I was like, damn, do you want to back out? And you're like, no. You were, like, you, were like, you were like two question marks? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, two question marks. Are you talking to me like that? Yeah. Mango, I feel like you, you like me, are a hater for the love of the game. And, and because yes. you're a big enough dude, that you're, you're a hater that, you know, is sometimes justified. And, uh, but maybe not the complaining. Well, no, because I, I, I think you're justified in this. And for I this. think I'm being totally justifiable. But I do think <laughs> my you last can... two brain cells like <laughs> working together to perform a thought. You're putting a lot of pressure on yourself to like that you're sliding Zane, and then it's like an asterisk. When I think that if you just fucking if you ball out and you swag and you get first, like that's just you're just still winning really hard melee. And I think that's okay to to be okay with. You know what I mean? Just well, no, it's also because I haven't been practicing. The thing about I'll go to the event, but I feel I don't like showing up unprepared. You're yeah, like a fucking from a try hard days. perspective, it's like Six no. Days. I talked to four I have days. like four days, yeah, four days, and then I'm being drunk today. You think I'm playing good melee today? No. And then we're going to the Lake Game tomorrow. You think I'm playing good melee tomorrow? No. That leaves me Wednesday hung over off a five day vendor you know what? to get best in the world good in a four day span. I got How the solution. He He's making good points. We we I make great points. We cancel, you know what? You know we cancel what? the Lakers game. He might even still win. No. <laughs> Is that crazy? We bring a melee setup to the Lakers game. No, because I'm already. <gasps> I've, be I've mentally box. checked out this yeah. year, and I think it's fair after the whole cancellation that I was like. I'm done. I'm going to take December off. I'm going to enjoy my birthday, which I did. I had a great birthday. Your event was, it was okay. <laughs> Could have been better. We're not going to go into it. <laughs> so what? I had a great time. a list of problems. Yeah, there were some complaints. Oh I had a great God. time, and now it's like I don't want to play Melee. I think it's because the bar closed early. That was a bummer. But it's like I, I just, bottom of my heart, don't want to play. Are you doing but, the WAF event? No. If that counts for, I've already said if that counts for rankings, I'm going commentary. But you're going to go over go this? Yeah. Well, it's a sport. Which is why I'm going to your shitty event. Because I have no choice. Because <laughs> being the goat is... Us two, it, it goats, <laughs> us two goats of melee if I could. It has... <laughs> you start a sentence like that. It's so <laughs> It just... I understand. Like, when I wake up, I know what I have to do in my position of my shoes, you know? And so I'll go, but it's like, I just don't want to. You have to do fanfare to talk to the people in the village. You know, you're the king. Look, I'll say it. I'll say it. If as the goat of melee, you are you are needy, but I think you are just because there are other goats who are not as just because I don't even know if you know this, but originally before I was supposed to slap box Connor, I was supposed to slap box XQC, mm -hmm. but then he, he bailed last second. So I ended up just doing it with Connor, which I think worked out better anyway. Yeah, he didn't show up to do... But you, if you were in XQC in the GOAT streamer, would have showed up. I would have. But you would have bitched the entire time. <laughs> but I'd be there. Are you going to slap me? I'm going to look bad. I got my beard. I'm going to fucking slap my Ludwig. You don't even have any beers here. The me? bar's closed. I don't even want that. I just got slapped by Ludwig today. It wasn't a good one. It self-admitted, too. Yeah, well, I, I held back on all my slaps against Connor. 
how bad? How yeah, bad? Tell. Um, I, how, what percentage power were you? I don't know if I can find a percentage. I think it's more so I was slapping with this as opposed to like your hand, Palm. which is a lot meatier, and this bends. So I, I it was like, I think it might have been pretty hard, but this just doesn't. I hurt hate that how bad. much he loves Connor again because if I was up there, well, I, I threw my hat in the ring. And Connor's he's like, your well, new Carl Jacobs. He's like Connor's way better, and I'm like that makes sense. But if I was up there, Ludwig would have ripped my fucking brains I off. Love Do you Connor. believe that? Yeah, I think he would have hit me as hard as you can. You really believe that? No, yeah. he wouldn't have. Why You're not? such an idiot. Why? Because we had a chance for that to happen offline, off the record, and I didn't. Yeah, but this would be for content, and you could put me down for good. We've also slapped <laughs> each other for content. Yeah, but like, so that was different. what the fuck? Because it's a competition. Oh it's my literally slap on you. You just said it's because of Fergie. You're, 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 I'm you're... saying that you would have slapped me real no, good. No, I wouldn't have. That's great. And now I feel like, now I'm hurt. Imagine Slime was like hella good at chess randomly. That'd be sick. That would be so grinding. funny. I just dice your dumb ass. See, you're, you're hurt. I'm hurt every day of my life. I see how you feel Whoa. now. You get it? Yeah. I do. Because, you know. Go, goats. goats cry. Because <laughs> every day I wake up, I don't even want to do half the shit I do, but it's just, I have to do it. It's the I, best part of your day. And I keep saying, best part of my day yeah. is when I get a sub. <laughs> I'm very happy. <laughs> he has That's a son. the most depressing he shit I've ever heard in my life. No, because my whole life is dictated by numbers. If my True. stream's doing well, I'm happy. And if I'm doing well in tournament, I'm happy. When I'm, my stream's doing so-so, and I'm getting fifth and seventh, do you think I'm happy? No. 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 I'm very miserable. I did see you at Actually, Big House. wow, that's so interesting. Because it's also like the Eagles record. Yeah, and the Eagles are hot, so right now I'm riding the, the Lakers record. baddest high. It's all numbers, and that's all that matters. My life is all numbers. What about uh, other joys, less objective joys? I ha the I smile have, of a child. I have no joy until I retire. <laughs> to me, it's touch like, of a lover. I'm a. Uh, I'm just <clears throat> the way I see it is I sacrifice my soul, and then when I retire, I'm set free. Let's talk about it. You said you would retire in four years. Was that serious? Yeah, I keep saying I'm not playing a day past thirty-five. You promise? What's what, the, what why, I want? What? What? Why thirty-five? Because then I'll be at 20 years. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. And I feel like I've done... What do I have to play for any time? I feel like I've accomplished everything a Melee player could ask. You have to play and for the people that will still be like, I don't know, Armada if he came back. Which is why I'm cementing that. But I also, in, you know, anime fashion, I feel like... I'll know when I can leave when the community doesn't need me. And I feel like they still need me. But I think there will be a day. When yeah. I can, <laughs> we no longer need mango. That day is when mango. melee dies <laughs> this is and just, ultimate this takes is over. This just the end of the Dark Knight. Yeah, but it's in the real life. <laughs> Have you heard that I'm Batman and melee community's my Gotham? Well, okay. They treat what, me does like shit and what does Joey say about this? What does Joey say about this? He agrees, probably. Wow. <laughs> probably. <laughs> it's the melee community, not my Gotham. What does Joey's Falcon yeah, say about this? Yeah, I guess you're Gotham. This? I put you're my the everything. What are you talking about? You're the most beloved top player. Yeah, but I still get a lot of shit. Is Armada the Joker? Who's the Joker? Uh, the Joker is. Joker's too sick to be any of those clowns. I. Joker's I'm Detective Gordon. <laughs> the Joker's Nintendo. Yeah, I'm Detective <laughs> Gordon, Who am and I? I'm working with Batman to save the city. D D but in my own ways, can I be? Uh, can I be? Gamble? You can be Catwoman and fuck them. I can be Catwoman, but I also, <laughs> I also like can defeat crim criminals. Yeah. Well. well. And also, we don't fuck. We well, just well, have a thing. You business. really want to fuck him, and he doesn't want to fuck you. I'm just saying it's like a tension thing, and that's yeah, cool. yeah, one way. So, no, One way two ways. I will now, Aiden, ask you, and the day after he's I announced his retirement, can we run the largest Smash tournament ever, million dollar prize pool, and then keep him one more day? <laughs> well, no, after I retire, I, what I'm going to do is I'm probably just going to enter Super Majors, but like, I'll, <laughs> but, but like I'll no practice. Not even no practice. When I retire, Falcon. that means I'm done. Oh, like Isaiah and N64? I'll just show up, and I'll be like... I'll be like the celebrity guy. I'll get 33rd. Maybe once I get top eight and it's hype. But I'm done grinding at 35. Yeah, like how, how Ken was still going to Evo here yeah, and there. Yeah, just show up. Like, would, show you play, up. would you play Spaces or would you like just fuck around? No, so this is sad that I've already thought like when I retire. You've really thought this through. <laughs> yes. This is, of this course is, To me, through. this is wow. my ending and I just, I can't wait this for that This is your day. off brand. Yeah. So I probably play Falcon or Mar for Sheik. I haven't decided. And I just want, because I've... <laughs> It's sad that even after my career, I just want to see what a year would look like on another character. I would love to see your oh, Falcon full time. Which is Sheik. sad. <laughs> it's sad that even in I my retirement, I'll Sheik. probably still play. You want the Sheik? I want Club the Junior. I want the Mango. I think I want the Marth. That, I want the Marth. Marth. Oh, Marth. The Mango Marth. I the mean, Mango Marth has 3 0'd Armada. I'll let you decide. 
As really? My, as my highest donor. Okay. <laughs> when the day comes, you can pick my all right, all right, I'll wait. I'll wait. I'm going right. to sit on Think it. Think about it. Yeah, I'm going to sit on Think it. I'll sit on it. sit on it. Come back. I'll play Puff Is for you Puff if you open? Want. Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah. Think about this. it. I'm gonna do Mango Junior. You all switched. <laughs> That's good. Transition. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. You, you whoa. all, all four, of you switched. I have never switched. I would argue I that switched I a little bit. Switch. <laughs> I, I had a little switch. Slippy ranked came out today. None of you care. Wait, 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 wait. I've never cared. None of you care. I've I never cared. Haven't, I haven't played Slippy in probably months because I have. I don't know what I, my adapter I play, is. I play on LAN. You guys don't even play melee anymore. I, don't, I haven't played Just melee right. in six fucking years. I don't play Slippy. Yeah, I work. Yeah, Slippy Rank came out. But I fucking I play. I have a Josh Man at home. Take back. He's really good. I have a Josh Man at home. Yeah. Take back. I've never played melee. You used to care. No, I just beat you once in Thanksgiving, but I never fucking played. You'll the play game. Atrioc a lot. You used to yeah, care, but I've never played Slippy. You'll play my uh, my Mar. Yeah, yeah, he was never net. Remember playing. when you used to do rank rank up Anthers ladder streams? No. Oh. Yeah, no, I you remember. played viewer you viewer fights. I never Anthers. did that. You yeah, did you viewer did. you did viewer shit on. Yeah, Anthers. I did viewer streams um, battles. Because I played you on one of those streams. And you played, I remember. Like, yeah, you, you're, he's fine. Give him a break. Uh, he didn't this, He literally go, actually didn't switch. go to melee. Look at him. He didn't switch. <laughs> and he chillin's Mario. I'm, de I'm detec Detective Gordon. <laughs> he chillin's Mario. I'm here to save Have the day. Have you been chillin's Mario? No, I'm just the funny thing to say. It's, it happened. I beat his fox. I was, I'd be chillin's Falco. <laughs> chillin's Mario. <laughs> hey, I'll say it, the the double chill and walkout kind of hype. Yeah, it was extremely hype. That was yeah, hype. that was perfect. That was anyway, what were your what were your issues with my event? Which one? Smash boxing. <laughs> Besides Aiden being a yeah, clown, yeah, yeah, and not, yeah, yeah, surprised, just leave, totally. Leave leave I actually had a great time. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'll take that. Oh. I had an eleven out of ten time. I'll take wow. that. It, I started off because. Okay, so we get there. Mm -hmm. Aiden makes me stand outside. I, I'm wearing <laughs> shorts and sandals, and it was actually pretty chilly. So I'm standing there. My toes. You're get, always wearing shorts and sandals. I know. Well, I, only there was I a way I, to check the weather. It was funny because I <laughs> before you leave your house. No, no. Well, I had joggers on. But I had a jacket on, yeah, and my body can only have a substantial amount of heat either right. down here or up here because I'm used to being like this or like a tank top. Yeah, so I was I had pants on. And I was like, I'm really hot, and then I took my pants off, and then of course I had to stand outside for thirty minutes while walking. You took your pants off? No, at home before okay, the Uber okay, came. Okay, okay. And then besides that, waiting, and then we get there. And I'm keep in mind I'm hungover as shit. I have a heartburn, and then I find out that our seats aren't together. Because he just gave us whatever. Four tickets. Yeah, so... Because I didn't have four seats together Right, anymore. right. So I'm thinking, like, we can't go out there because... I, what, I'm going to go and Joey and Gio are going to be away from me? Like, I was like... And then we get there, and I have two beers, and I go up for a third, and the lady's like, we're closed for now. And I'm like... And then I go, and I look <laughs> for the food. There's no food. Just, like, nasty carrots. So, like, the first, like, three hours were a zero out of ten time. And then... And then it got there. It all turns The bar around. opened up. <laughs> I think that they was brought, the, They brought the, tacos. The clutch the, moment. Had some nice salsa. Ooh. Dude, someone <laughs> else came up to me during, in the VIP section when, when, those, uh, like when that meal was being served or like when the veggies were being served. And they're like, how come like we paid to be in here and like there's a concession stand out there, but I have carrots in here. I was like, what do you want me to do about this? <laughs> and I was like, do you want me to tell you to like just eat the carrots and grow up? And I'm just trying to like get through what this like a, an influencer or no, it was a person who had just bought the oh, ticket. The, 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 and I just okay. like didn't know where to go with the Three conversation. People came up to me and they were like, Can you tell Ludwig that this food bar is not up to par? And I was like, Yeah, I'll let him know. I you know what? I, <laughs> I heard like, the feedback. Yeah. I heard the feedback. It's a bunch of fucking greasy gamers who have never eaten a fucking vegetable in their well, life. Hold well, up. Those are there. our VIPs. Those yeah. are our people. But they did they did come and the VIP section was like this it's like this ballroom area and it's and it's connected to their seats that are like floor seating so the seats are good and it has an open bar and they had like a veggie tray but they were up in all i've never seen i walked in to just you know like uh kiss some babies uh, shake some hands and uh and uh and i was like hey uh, thanks guys for coming did my whole spiel and then i get down and and then someone just pies in the crowd they're like What's up with the mushrooms? <laughs> and then everyone goes, yeah! And it's like a British parliament. No, people are like, <laughs> and, I, and I'm like, what? What? what do you mean? And they're, like, they're like, go look at the mushrooms. And I look, and it looks like someone just foraged, like a, like, it looks like a cauliflower, but it's just mushroom heads <laughs> all in one chunk. That's kind of funny. And I'm like, and I'm like, what, what's wrong with foraged food all of a sudden? <laughs> and then I leave, and I'm like, they're kind of right, somebody who was in 
the slums with the VIPers. There was the slums. The, slums the slums of an with open, the open bar. bar. The slums with the, the open slums. bar. That's funny. That's the funny. Sl- You're funny. And then there was talks going table to table, like, yeah, I thought the I thought the food would be better. Like everyone, everyone, <laughs> everyone, everyone oh, which was I actually mad. think, considering then, how much everybody paid, is actually like a a, a valid complaint. But no, it's but I like, will say the tacos were amazing. Yeah. And then the fucking the the lady made pasta Dude, in front the pasta of me. Lady it was great. Was not, it was like an omelet bar for you guys, pasta. The whole my whole day started so shitty. Even I get there and there's just like mushrooms and like it just wasn't the veggies the whole time. Well, I was no, like, it was just to start. But then as the, the bar opened up and the food came out, it just like well, you excel. know, the secret to success in every event is always end on a good note. Doesn't matter if it starts shit as long as it ends. Well, good. I was, I was the whole day. I was like, oh, you know, it's bad. the food shit here, but like it's venue food. It's how it goes. Yeah. And like the day went on. There's tacos now. And I'm like, oh, food got a little better. That's no, it got that's better. Cool. Throughout the day. I what they did. I will say. And then like the after party hit, where like none of the VIPs can go, and the food was amazing. And I was like, this is a little fucked up. I know what their they capa- got the tacos. I know what their capabilities they are. Got the tacos. They were they were chefing up the fucking pasta in the little pan. They were making the they're slicing the meat they off the, the fucking thing. I was like, this is crazy. See the dance floor after. Oh, yeah. Those two people it's just going me nuts. And four other people on the There's dance floor. There's two people on the dance floor the whole time. They, 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 they were killing it. They were killing it. It was uh, his name is Drew, and I forget his well, wife's name. But she I was, talked to him she for was a doing while. like spins and, and they shit. Were killing she it. was getting down. There was oh, one yeah. point where he's like pumping up, pumping up the ground, and she's like an inflatable balloon. No. It was crazy. They yeah. were killing it. They were. They were. Yeah. They were so insane. I know the after party was lame as fuck because the moment I walked outside. Uh, to to walk Cutie to her car, I saw like like thirty influencers like waiting for Ubers. I was like. What's up, guys? And they're like, <laughs> "Where are you g- 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 going?" Hey. After party was great. And I was like, "It's I'll, been five minutes." And I'll like, defend the after party. We gotta go home. I, I think it. it was fine. It was just like it was mixed vibes because it was DJ, but then it was also a ballroom with tables and food. And yeah. so there was a lot going on. And I, I think it was it was perfect for like talking to people. Which that's is, that's what it was for. It was well, a it was talk like, to each other. It was other like a hangout. It was good for the and fighters. And if you want a party, right? Go party. It was if not you want to just hang out, hang out. That's yeah. why if you want to go to dance floor or you want to go here or here. It was like eight vibes, and he could just pick, pick vibe. what vibe you want. I did like that. It was like a vibe carnival. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> mm. And 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 Nick Yingling was the vibe carny. He, yeah, he was. <laughs> he was <laughs> with jagged just teeth, toothless. Yeah. <laughs> ben, one more for the road. How much time we got? Hey, ten. I maybe. imagine we got something completely unrelated. Yo, I thought it was. Really, have you guys seen that Twitter scam where like? Someone will get their Twitter hacked, and then the person will post on the account and be like, hey, I have 10 MacBooks. I thought that yeah. happened to E. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so they'll be like, I have 10 MacBooks. DM me if you want a, a MacBook for 200 bucks. That's it. And uh, they just try to scam all their fans. So usually okay. this happens to you. You complain to Twitter. They resolve it in like a day or two, and you get your comeback. Bobby Lee, the comedian, has had his Twitter hacked for, I think, two months now. <laughs> It's, I'm not exaggerating. His, <laughs> Twitter, so his Twitter has been hacked for Wait, like two full still months. Now? Still can you now. Pull it up, Zipper? Zipper, if you can pull up the picture I sent you. Uh, this is Bobby Lee's Twitter account. It tweets this every day, and it locked it. <laughs> it locked the Twitter. Oh my god! It locked the Twitter. It, it's so. It's been so long. <laughs> it's been so long that the person is writing that there's only two more left. Because they they start with ten, right? They just keep going. And so they do this thing, right? So can you pull up the full keep image, Zipper? Name. <laughs> they now are trying to push signed napkins on the laptop and it just says Bobby Lee Dude, that is so in plain writing what if this is Bobby I, Lee with a long con that's yeah. what I'm starting that's to think what I that, that, that they hacked him he realized how much money they made in the DMs and he just kept it gone yeah. dude I, that's what you should do when you retire Mango is uh, your social just becomes like a Ray-Bans thing like, <laughs> yeah. It just becomes like a sunglasses like scam. <laughs> or you wait for Twitter to lock you and then you say, what the fuck? And you show that you're actually selling laptops for cheap. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I had a lot of MacBooks. Yeah, homie just doesn't give a fuck. I'll, I'll hire you when I retire, Slime. Yeah, I'll be your You, you can run whatever you your retirement you manager. Want. Yeah. yeah, you do whatever you want. It'll be good. I'll, I'll let you go out on a good note online. Imagine mogul yeah. moves, but Ludwig's mango. Ludwig's Better mango. Better or worse? If, wait. Wait, if. Ludwig is Mango, so it's Mogul moves. Ludwig's out of the picture, and Mango oh, is in place over? of Ludwig. Mango is a so, so Mango, content creator. So he's the streamer content creator. He's our boss. We we need responses from him. All that stays, but Ludwig's gone. It's just Mango. Better okay, you said Mango's a content creator. Like he does we... a stream every day. No, no, but like no, in but the way he's not that doing you the YouTube push. I'm, I'm and not all. a content creator. You are. Fucking say no. it. If you, say it with you, your chest. If I'm you were same. only the streamer, I'm a professional gamer. That he was. We would all not all need to have a job here. Like he doesn't need 15 employees. We'd play a lot more Valorant. You think so? We'd be in a lot of drug mango five stacks. 
Yeah, we we get the call where it's like, yeah, Mango needs a fifth. Oh yeah. my god, Mango Valorant, dude. You know, be a sick content series. You know how everyone goes like iron to whatever, zero to hero, iron to immortal. But you have to have like a blood alcohol content level of point zero eight or higher. And to you gotta play. blow. Yeah, you have to blow before every game. Sounds and like you, this is just made for me. Yeah, that's what I'm. No, I'm saying <laughs> this is for you. It's just mango doing. I don't want to drink anymore. Immortal. What? Can I just not drink Look for at like your a month? Right hand. You don't want. <laughs> you don't want to not drink for a month. What are you talking about? <laughs> it just hurts. <laughs> he slurs Mackenzie. Uh, he's bro. acting he's like he's literally his right hand. slurs Mackenzie. Your right hand's like part of your body. He can't do anything. He doesn't want to There's party. Anymore. Yeah, it's not and everyone's like, like keep partying slurms we need you I, he i can't been party a great much longer <laughs> he what he had the chops he would have been a great fighter golden glove, golden glove. i'm golden trying glove. to go on a 10 mile run how much do you weigh right now <laughs> i'm not telling you i just recently gained 10 pounds i'm not happy about it north of two yeah Ooh, two. no it's, it's getting bad two, I'm all, right. two 18 no not that much Come on, 204, easy. Yeah, anyway. Low two, low two. Uh, yeah, you couldn't box most smashers. Well, no, I would have lost weight. You want to lose? You you know how easy it is for me to lose weight? I just drink seltzers and I drop 15 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> You, yeah. think, you think You're I'm joking? You're a lot of calories. You think I'm joking? It just does. Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean when you say so, like said. alcohol seltzers, like heart seltzers? Or yeah, like, like driving like yeah, water. You'd be like, amazed by what, what you could do when you just don't drink any at no, all. But, <laughs> how does that make sense? Dude, it's just calories this. in, calories out. Dude, Dude so but like what? You, seltzers have a lot of calories and sugar. No, but they're seltzers? Like, no, that's seltzers their whole are just, thing. It's just sparkling water, you So you didn't listen to him. He said Trulies. Oh, no, seltzers. oh, so now you're dumb. Wait, I am now dumb. You're no, seltzers are not alcohol. Listener. Yeah, and alcohol well, has there, calories There's in seltzer, it. and then there's hard seltzer, like seltzer oh, water. Okay. I assume I when thought, he says it, like, yeah. he means, like, no, I'm not with, I'm with him. I'm, I recognize that he means alcohol. So During the pandemic? The pandemic. <laughs> I don't know why uh, I said yes, that. Yes, sir. No, it's, <laughs> it's, it's a real people. thing. It's a real thing. Yeah, plus one on Elon's tweet lately. My pronouns? During, I, um, I stopped drinking beer because I was like, I'm going to be drinking every day because obviously what the fuck else are we going to do? So I was like, I switched to seltzers. I lost 15 pounds in a month, but there nothing changed in my diet. I was cow. eating fast food every night. No, but this is like fattening. What? I don't, I don't I, get it. Maybe you drink less because they're like, no, more I drink more them? seltzers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it okay. doesn't add up. It just <laughs> it doesn't. The math isn't there. No, it is. could do the math. Here, like, this is a question. very solvable. How no, but long, seltzers are way lighter than this. How long would it take you to be able to run 10 miles again? You give me a month. <laughs> no mm, fucking ten, way. Yes. 10 miles is really Let's put long. a yard bounty on wait, this. Wait, wait, no, no, but 10 miles you could do. In a the month, question is how long do you have to do it within? Because you could run 10 miles. Right, like you can just get ten miles done. I mean, it's like a no, nonstop no, you, ten if you, miles. No, but I would not if you, stop. If you have to maintain a certain jog the whole time, I think it's better to just have it within a time frame. Like I think it, ten miles in two hours, like ever. And you know, my buddy's your peak, like 10 twelve minutes. minutes a mile. It's a little fast, maybe one hundred fifty minutes. Twelve minutes a mile. Miles. What I think, mm, a ten minute hour. Twelve minutes a mile is pretty, fast? pretty light. Twelve. I think that's ten light. minutes a mile. I was saying twelve minutes per mile. Ten no, miles. You don't know my body's peak. What's your peak? Uh, my, What's your my, fastest mile ever? Fast mile is like a uh, high five, like high fifty. I'm a five fifty. Five fifty five. Yeah, yeah, I'm like there, but like on average in like school, I was always like six ten, six twenty, and then um my I ran two miles as fast as I could just to see, and I got like eleven thirty or something. That's juicy. What's that test called? There's a test in America they do. We run two miles. The something test. The two mile the president run. test. The pacer test. Is that it? The pacer test is like a lot of different. But it's running. a little different. The times you, two mile no, run. Two, it's two miles under th thirteen minutes. It's Are like you doing chess boxing again next year? I don't know. So okay. I, I guess start. I'll start working out today. I think I should do it again because I tomorrow. think a lot of people <laughs> didn't want to give chess boxing a chance and then saw it and thought it was cool. So I think everyone who watch it will want to watch it, and I think everyone who missed out on it in full mode will yeah. want to see it. So I think, and we'll also run it way better. I think it's worth running again, but there's a couple things that I would change. You know what you need? What? You need an Aiden. I need what an Aiden. What if you had your own Aiden? Aiden? needs an Aiden. I have thought about that. You get yourself an Aiden. I do think I told him. Yeah. Aiden I, needs I have an Aiden. Aiden. You have an Aiden? Uh huh. You have an Aiden? Not on an Aiden. You have Aiden. I was my own Aiden. <laughs> Who would Back when Aiden it was be? me and Ludwig, I was, I was Yingling. Uh, I was Aiden. Hire Eamon. <laughs> You're just every Eamon? Eamon? Yeah. My mom pokes me about it sometimes. Really? She's like, your brother. Yeah. You can help him out. Does she? And, and, and I, to It'd be, be so fair, weird, I though, think, uh, yeah, because I think my brother would never ask. 
or he respect never, you. It's like it's like how my brother <laughs> bought the merch. I'm like Ethan, I'll send you the merch. Hey, <laughs> He's too you humble. Have to He's one of those. Yeah. yeah. But, but do would he do like stuff? Uh, yeah. Do you think your brother's lazy? No. He has Aiden's blood running through. Yeah. Him. Think He'll about how, how good He'll he got it. at Fortnite, dude. That's true. Eamon and Amon. That's a duo if I ever Shh. seen one. He has to be the ice climbers of Mogul Moon. Cor- what is it in the Discord? <laughs> Corwin's Revenge. Corwin's Revenge. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I'll do it again. Do you, do you, want to, do you think we should do it again? Yeah. I if thought you, about that a lot again, yesterday. Let me know. I think there's... There's, there's, so much, there's so much to improve on just from the yeah. first one. It can be there's, so much better. And, yeah. There's certain types of events that you do once because the spectacle of them happening that one time at all is like all of the magic of it. And then there's certain types of events that like as they happen and bring in a bunch of people that think it's cool and like realize it's cool you capitalize that and pull them all back in again. Well, I feel like even like me saying. is and like... I think this falls into the second category. Right. From like my... Even me, like when I was watching, I was like, damn, I kind of wish I did this. I was like, this is really cool. So I think yeah. even more content creators would be like, yeah, it's kind of cool. I like, think just, cause just the fact that there was this monumental <laughs> thing that just got the word out about chess... Because the number one question leading up to this event when it was discussed was, what is chess boxing? And now right. this has answered the question and it's cool... So it's like now. I think we also pull more star power for the next one. Yeah, exactly. I think more people want to do it, and like, because I think everyone's concern was like, what happens if I like get punched a bunch? And then you realize it's not that bad. Because I think everyone who fought, everyone's actually, alive. I respect everybody who fought. Yeah. Because to go out there and like maybe get your ass beat as like any kind of like content and like creator, never I hear the end of it, and like, like I respect shit. everybody who fought yesterday. Is like, yeah, no one got like shit, and they were like Lamal. Well, because you can't, because they fought. It's like right to me. You know, my mom always told me growing up is if you ever. If I ever heard you backed out of a fight, don't come home, dude. And that's then she's, crazy. And then she said, "If you ever lose a fight, don't come home." Okay, that was meaner. Well, that's though. crazy. You did grow up in the hood. <laughs> <What> the <laughs> fuck. No, so like to me, it's like if you fight, you have my respect. It doesn't matter when or lose. <laughs> that's such a bad. No. What, what, what are you gonna because, tell your kid? No, because base. that means you can't back out of a fight. <laughs> but also, if you lose, you gotta win. Yeah, so you have to win. win. You gotta win. Really you pin you have to win the fight. fight. Well, no, growing up, I lost a fight every day of my life because I only fought. So you never told your mom? Bigger kids. Oh, fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. She mom just... did it again. <laughs> no, I grew up in the... Ninth so grade this time. I always say, check up the Norwalk stats from when I grew up. Oh, oh the fight? The fight sheet? No, no, no like the... The death crimes, is right. the penalty, oh. like, yeah, yeah, all the, like, crimes and shit. There was a point growing up where we could not go outside in the daytime because people were getting shot because they were wearing Raiders jerseys. Because they Holy were Raiders shit. fans? Because they liked the they, they had a jersey. Some gang shit. That is tough. So I wanted to play baseball. I can't because people are dying two two houses away. That was the other Golden Glove Marquez. Rest- <laughs> God bless his soul. Rest <laughs> in peace. He would have been Pacquiao today. Uh, yeah, I think the only thing I'm concerned about is how to one up it. Like outside of just we Dude, have outside bigger of stars. Doing it again? Yeah, yeah, like Ryan I think fucking Gosling. Yeah, well, you get some star power. I think specifically, like I think we'll that talk. slap boxing finale was cool, and so I think every event I've done that's live has had some sort of aspect of yeah. like. Here's a surprise extra delivery so yeah. that you guaranteed have a good time coming out because it exceeded expectations. And I've never repeated an event, so I don't know how to... Because, like, I can't do that again. I'm not going to surprise the audience again. Well, no, you just surprise them with two other people. And then Russian it's Ryan Gosling and Live. Slime. I mean, That's that would be actually tight. good. Wait, wait, what was his? My Russian Roulette, Russian roulette Live. Live. What? At the end. It's like, okay, you guys Real saw... Real gun, yeah. Because yeah. that's something to lose. Fuck you yeah, don't get is. to come home when you lose that. No. I watched the movie Bullet Train. It's really shit, but there's this one... You didn't like Bullet Train? Nah. Everyone was, I uh, heard of liked it. It was really? great. Yeah. I didn't like it because... I have seen it. Well, I, and I guess I should have recognized this, but I just didn't like I was all in the train. I didn't like the set. And like the bottle episode, yeah. You, you don't like, like the that? two brothers, dude. You no, don't I like watch, the uh, characters. Of their but the one part that I thought was cool is how they went. The, every the bad guy, he would have this like that was like his thing. Revolver. Like, he would, he would Russian roulette himself and then kill the person right after. That's tight. He left it up to destiny. There was yeah. a writer that did that as well. I always think about that. Story. Wait, what do you mean? Uh, there was this writer who was really, really depressed, and they got to the point where they wanted to just play Russian roulette and give it a whirl, one bullet, uh, and then it didn't kill them and so they were like so for two weeks later they were just like so happy like the air tasted better it like everything was better and then they got depressed again and then they ran it six more times so they actually <laughs> beat the odds i think about it all the time and then so he, he never died uh he never died I, I, as He's far still as alive i know right now uh he wrote a short story called depth charge it was really really good but That's i think i think about it a lot terrifying yeah sometimes yo extra content we've been thinking about this for a while, really so. good content i think <laughs> 
Why is it not good content? People is that a real watch. question? Susan will clear that. Yeah, Susan I don't will, think she will be fine. We barely get cleared. No. What do you mean no? Hey, we... check this out. Do you think the algorithm will catch this? Okay. What do you, what you, are you dummy doing? bear? Whoop. Oh, hey, all hey. right. Hey, algorithm, what is this? Oh. It's going to be way less funny when we get the Yeah, what if I suck it? Do you think the algorithm would Dude, know? Dude, imagine. That I'm like, hey, step right up, step right up. I'm Nick Gingling. What the hell does that <laughs> Here's mean? my carnival I game. I switched. I switched. Come to the, the suck and fuck booth at the <laughs> mogul carnival. I'm going to the Nick Gingling suck and fuck booth. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta see what's going on there. I do, I do guess about. I have to know. You <laughs> 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 little tiny little belly, dude. Oh, zip, Zipper gives us a thumbs up. All right. Well, we're uh, we're at our our we're Good at the bye. end of our beautiful journey. Oh wait, let me tell my 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 drinking story. Please, right, this yeah. will be this. So when you started the first ten minutes, yeah, yeah, <laughs> we, and then we, we 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 actually went we went on a roller We're coaster. We ended up at the Nick Engling Suck and Fuck Station of the. <laughs> That's what we all do. Yeah. It always kind of <laughs> stops there. But I know, growing like so, I was fifteen, sixteen, and I just never wanted to drink. I was like, I don't want to be that person. And then you know, at pound three, I had just turned sixteen, and you know, Silent Wolf. Yeah, Donald yeah. Mizno, baby. Yeah, my one of my favorite people of all time in the Miller community. Greatest Green Fox ever do it. Yep. And um, yes, he was sir. like, hey, we should get drunk because, you know, we were all drinking. Everyone's underage. Like, you know how it used to be back in the day. Dude, and him and, dude, <laughs> him, him and. So problematic, but. Well, I think <laughs> it was a different time. Back that's in all the, I'll say. Well, different time, but also most people were underage. No, I think everybody like, was underage. That's like a big difference. Yeah, it was yeah, like yeah. the community wasn't like, it, it wasn't a bunch of 35 year olds yeah, hanging exact, out with 16 exactly. year olds. Well, it was back when everybody was. What about when you hung out with Atriox? Anyway, continue. Yes, sir. True shit. He was like, you should drink. And I was like, I don't want to. He's like, okay. So I didn't drink it, but I turned it down. I was like, no. And then I was uh, 17, and then I went to the East Coast, and they were like, we should drink. And I was like, fuck it. I'm like, on the East Coast, like, I, you know, uh, funny enough, Hacks Money was one of the first people I ever got drunk with. And uh, this is your first time on the East Coast. These don't add. This is bad. Because <laughs> Hacks had to be what, 14? Hacks was like 12. Yeah. Hacks had to be <laughs> 13 it was not okay. or 14. He was asking bro. you to drink? Yeah, everyone was drinking, but I mean, we had like some shots, <laughs> and then I, that, after that day, I just, a part of me. So you didn't drink till you were 17 years old? Yeah. That's crazy. And, and the, is that your first time East Coast? No, no, I used to go to the East Coast all the time, oh, and they, they would always drink, and I'd be like, I'm good, like, and then I was like, nah, fuck it, so I took like three shots and like a fucking beer, and I was like. This is the greatest thing. And I you did the Popeye arms. <laughs> and, you, and you realize what you could be. So, so then okay. I like time went on. I was like, I'm only gonna drink on the East Coast. And then it went to, <laughs> I'm only gonna drink on the weekends. And then it was like, I'm only gonna. And then eventually, it, well, here we are. So when you said wow. you let your son drink at 17, that's because that's when you started drinking. You well, were you were raising your son how you were raised. I think kids are gonna drink no matter what. Sure. Like as you tried, but that guy actually taught you a life lesson when he took your twenty dollars. Yeah, I don't think shit changed. Like when I was in high school, it was the same way. Everyone no, drink. Me, like that's just... we're talking about this. It, it, <laughs> it's like kids <laughs> underage drinking is at Bad. like an all time low, and uh, like kids like don't really. I think the only thing that's up with kids is like pot use, but like recreational drug use in general. Do busy on their and phones. Like, yeah, they're, they're yeah actually, shit. you know what I'm saying. Amen. Watching Ludwig. Amen. I'm healing. Well, I just for me, it's like I. <laughs> I can't wait till I have a beer with my son. To me, that's like, it's gonna be a good day. It's a watershed moment. Yeah, no, it's gonna be a great day. You can be there if you want. Me? You can, can I? You can come. I would to love to be there. To JoJo's well, first invite. beer party. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. It's like, 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 like two a fucking years from now. Like it's like, a right, baby come over, shower. shower. <laughs> he's, he's eight. <laughs> All right, yeah, I gotta wrap up stream. Drinking with a sixteen-year-old today. <laughs> Maybe go ask him for maybe ask him for twenty bucks and then ghost them <laughs> <laughs> for tradition. Oh, Don't you you uh, do get to do that, right? Isn't that most places in the U.S. If you're a parent and you're at home, you can give I think your so. I, I just see nothing wrong with giving to... your seventeen year old. I think it's pretty strange. My mom used to buy me alcohol uh, that to me, for that's... my friends to play video games. Wow, we would just play like Kirby Air Ride and Smash, and she would buy us like a twelve pack. How old are you? Like 17, 18? Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Really? I think that's... No, that makes sense. I was 16, 17. 18. It was like junior in senior year of high school, so I was 16, yeah, 17. Yeah, my mom always said, like, like, just I don't care what you do, just tell me before you do it. Yeah, exactly. And I was like... Because they know you're going to do it. And then we'd run out, though, and we'd go to Mrs. B's closet, and we'd just raid it, because she had hard alcohol. <laughs> and, but, 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 but we wanted to keep the levels the same, so we would just fucking fill it with water to oh go back and God. dilute it. So it'd be like vodka, water, like the more and more, and like... <laughs> you're worse than me. Yeah. This actually just reminded me of one time. I remember I was 17, and I go to my mom. Peak drinking age? Yeah. 
It's actually the best because well, I'm not gonna go into it, but <laughs> so I go to my mom, I'm like, Mom, can I have can I have five dollars? And she was like, Yes. And then she gives it to me. She's like, Don't fucking spend this on alcohol. I swear to God. I said, Mom, I swear on everything. I'm not gonna spend it on alcohol. <laughs> I went and got two forties. <laughs> how'd, how'd you get them? It was it was the hood. I just there was always an older homie. Oh, so you asked them and they would get it for you? Yeah. yeah. So it's like the same thing happened to me, but they were chill with you. That's why yeah. I I I had we live like a block away from like the store. I see. So it was just like get the old homie, and you've known him or something like yeah, you've seen just, your own. Yeah. And the, where we're from, <laughs> you want alcohol? You just and you buy him like a bag of hot Cheetos, and they were cool. It's like here you go, man. There's this Boonies kind of vacation place in Washington called Ocean Shores, and it's like a beach town that uh, has basically like not it's very few people live there. It's like pretty rural out in the middle of nowhere. And then, you know, you might go there to like check out the beach because there's all the beaches in Washington are like very rocky. But this one's like nice and sandy. And I went there with my friends when we were like 17 I think, and that was also one of the first ways that I got alcohol was we stood out in like a shitty 24-7 Mart parking lot until a guy just agreed to buy us alcohol. <laughs> and it was the same kind of like, looked like mid-40s, like bigger guy came out of his truck and we were like, would you be down to buy us booze? And he was like, no. He goes into the store, walks back out, and he's like, actually, yeah, I'll do it. And then wow. did it for us, no charge. Just gave us, just gave us like three what bottles. That's kind of more evil. Yeah, that's like he wants he went and he's to like, get wait, drunk. they'll have a life of misery. <laughs> <laughs> he went back out. No, would you, you like me? <laughs> would you buy alcohol if somebody asked you to? No, you wouldn't. You? Fuck no. I wouldn't do it either. Yeah. I, but I also have the added, I think, twist. I might do it if I was how old. Not, how old are they? If you weren't allowed, I, I think. If, yeah, yeah. No, I agree. If how how, how old do they look? Huh? How old do they look? The younger, the funnier. If they're 10, <laughs> I buy them a 30 ride. <laughs> I buy them a bunch of kid beer. And I'm like, get going. <laughs> Let's see what you guys got. <laughs> Come on, no, drink it in front of me. Drink it in front of me, kids. Chug it, pussy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, it'll be, yeah, it'll be like making smoke a, I'll prep it for you. <laughs> it's like smoking a carton. Like, they'll never want to drink again. Yeah. Al when we alcohol, were 10. no, but lotto tickets, yes. Well, yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah. I want to get a lot of that weird, There's that weird age between like 18 and 20 where it's like, you should just be able to do this. Yeah, if you're like 19, and it's that's like, why you get that's, drunk uh, about I, sure. I don't know if I'm willing to stick my neck out for like some kid coming up to me in the parking lot, but at the same time, it's like, this is kind of bullshit that you can't buy. Would, it for you, would you get your brother a handle? A handle? Yeah. If he no, wants a handle, of course no you comment. would. Why? Of course you oh, would. No he's, done it. he's done it. He's no done comment. it. He's done it. He's done it. Oh, for family, say, it's different. You just yeah. What, what, what are you gonna say about JoJo? Which part? You're well, gonna say also, something to you about me and JoJo. Oh, <laughs> I asked him if he knew you. And he said no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, well I, I thought it was gonna be hey, fucking cool. I was. But he said he's like. Thanks for washing the yard. He said I heard you talk about him. He sounds like an okay guy. Thanks, JoJo. There you have it. JoJo approves somewhat of Ludwig. Uh, thanks for coming You're on, Mango. Right. Mango. That's a big approval. And you ran an all-right all event. We're, we have to bring you on fucking, what, one more time? Because we can't do the other one. I know Crank Gameplays. Well, hey, well, when well, Lost hey, Tech doesn't hey, come count. come win the Ludwig event, we'll give Bro, you fucking... Yeah, win, win the Ludwig event, we'll get you. Come on. Come on, this weekend. I'll be there. I don't want to. Woo-hoo. All right, well, you guys can see Mango in a couple days when this drops at the Ludwig tournament. When does this drop? On Thursday. Thursday on video. Wednesday, Wednesday on Go audio. watch Mango live right now playing Smash Rant. My channel is live right now. <laughs> <laughs> it better be. It won't be. This goes as of you, noon. Oh, wait, wait, no, one, yeah. one more thing. One more thing. Do you want number one? Do you care about number one on the rank ladder? Of course you do. On, rank. on the rank ladder? Yeah. <sighs> Enough, yeah, but also, like, like it's, it's hard to like be yeah, a streamer yeah, yeah. and want number one. Nah, I get you. I so get I, I got to find the middle ground. I'll just be like top five and I'll be happy. You'll be like Tarek. Yeah. Yeah. Sh shoots for number one, never hits it. I got to find Tarek's story it next yeah, time. True. All right. All right, everybody. Goodbye. Right, have bye. a nice day. See or you don't. on the primo. Oh, okay. I think I have the no. heart of a lion. Yeah, it doesn't matter because yeah. you have the body of a mouse. <laughs> I don't have the body of a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I, think, I think I could fucking find.